Don't you think it's incredibly dishonest for Ethan to platform grape apologists that he thinks sexually assaulted a woman and he's bringing them on their show? They are accusing Myron of assaulting a woman. So they won't talk to Abba and Preach because they made a joke, but they'll talk to Fresh and Fit who they are accusing of assaulting a woman. Make it make sense. I'm uh, admitting them to the room right Let's now. Let's go. Here we go. Mm. High energy. My boys, my dogs. What's High up, energy. players? Is it too loud Wait, now? Oh, they How's the audio now? Connect their audio. How's the audio? How's the audio Hello, testing can audio? Can you hear us okay? Am I okay on my end? We can hear you. What? Yeah, we can hear you. Can you guys hear oh us? Oh my God. We can. can. I can you... hear you guys good, yeah. Are you seeing our uh, video feed okay? Uh, yeah, we are. We're, we can see your video feed. Um, you can lost some weight. That's great. I did. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate that. Thanks, oh, man. Good job with that. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you saying that. And that's not even not even us trying to be funny. Like dead serious. That's great. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good. No, I, no, I know. I I know. I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. Thank you guys. So you guys know that we're live, right? Just to be clear. And you guys are also okay. Live? Audio okay? Yeah, yeah. No okay, problem. okay, cool. I like to just mention it because sometimes people they yeah, realize halfway through they're like, wait, this is live. I'm like, true. Uh, <laughs> not many people can do live, so we're one of the few. You know what? True. Yeah. Just to say something nice about you guys here oh. at the top. Um, I gotta say, you guys do three lives per week, mm -hmm. and we do that too, and I know it ain't easy. It's a real operation to put on three live shows. Streaming's a hard week, job, so guys. It might be the hardest job. For that. I appreciate that, man. We even give you guys your kudos and say there's not many few, there's not many uh, podcast live streamers. It's us, you, Tim Cast, and Crowder. That's really it that yeah, I can damn. think of. That live, and PBD. They just yeah. started doing it. So, Oh, they do? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they do live stream podcasts as well, so but most okay. people don't do it for obvious reasons. So yeah, no, yeah, not, exactly. Yeah. It's, so we definitely commend you guys as well. Nice. Also, I want to say something else. Um, Coconuts, you have a service dog, and he's so cute. He or she, I don't know, so cute. <laughs> My name's Coconuts now. What's uh, that? I just came back from Barbados too, so that's, that's actually hilarious. <laughs> oh, God. And they were tasty, man. Coconuts were tasty. I love oh, coke. Oh man, coconuts are phenomenal. One of the mm. best. Love them. Nut. They're a nut, right? I mean, those are great. I love the nuts. Love the milk. <laughs> That's <laughs> nut. It's a big ass nut, but it is what it is. Is this your? This is your dog, right, Coco? Saw hero. Oh. There you go. My boy, hero, man. <laughs> Cute. You know what? I, oh. I'll, I'll call you Walter Co or coconuts. Sorry. You know what? It's such a bad habit. I'm trying to be respectful. I call you coconuts on the show because of the coconuts Barbados thing. I'm gonna call you Wal Walter's your name, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be respectful. Um, but anyway, I love your what dog. Is this I love about? your dog. So, what do you want to debate, man? I yeah. know that you guys wanted to have this discussion with us. We're happy to have it. <laughs> okay. So, nice, respectful debate. Whatever you want to discuss. What is this? All right. So let's start from here. Just it's topical, so I'll is bring Ethan it up. Bored? Is, um, the tape bros got arrested again. Yeah. And, um, well, first of all, Aiden Ross did that shit, right? Like, do you think he should be catching some flack from the community? Uh, we don't know enough to comment on that. So, I mean, I don't know, Fresh, if you know anything else that I Well, I'll say this. But they were arrested, but they were also released as well. Immediately, yeah. So that's a good, that's a good okay. news right there. True. They were released, but the judge is said they can be extradited to the UK just after their case finishes and went further and said they're not allowed to leave Ethan the country. won't talk to Ab and Preach, but he'll mm -hmm. talk to Fresh and Fit again? Yeah. I mean, I don't really know too much about as far as like the Ada what? situation and if that actually led. I know that, you know, in the news they're saying that it potentially led to them being arrested. But, you know, what I do know is I'm pretty co I'm confident they're uh, innocent. We know that this stuff is BS. Um, <sighs> these women have made these accusations before. So can I know, ask you this? And, if you or, knew, if you found out for sure that Aiden him saying that is what got him arrested. Do you think that that would, that he should get shit for that? Because I feel like he really, if it's true, which it seems like it is, is like crazy snitching. Like he got his boy arrested. Like it's well, crazy. At the finest. Yeah. Um, but we don't know. We just simply. I mean, he did apologize for it though. He didn't did apologize. Apologize? You can't apologize for running over someone's grandma. You know what I mean? Like what <laughs> the fuck? 
Uh, that was messed up, Aiden. Uh, so that's L for you, buddy. Oh, but, so he did. Yeah. So it is confirmed. His life pretty stream? much. It pretty much it is confirmed. Yeah, it's been reported in the news. Oh no, oh, even man. dude, even Tate's lawyer, I think, put out a statement saying that it was because of Aiden Ross's fucking video. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I love that. So, uh, L. Aiden. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, pre <clears throat> it's pretty amazing just that that's what took him down. I, I've wondered if Aiden is a, an in a secret agent, maybe. Well, um, you would know better, better than us. Well, I'm not right? a secret agent. Oh. Or am I? You're saying that I'm secretly a red what pill guy? What is this? This is so awkward. Uh, I mean, I think you're very, very versatile, <laughs> but I don't know if you're a red pill. I'm versatile. I appreciate that. That's. I think that's a compliment. <laughs> Um, so if you, you say that you think the tape bros are innocent, mm -hmm. yes. um, if you, let me ask you this, if you knew that he did do the crime, would you stop supporting him? He didn't. No, I know, I know. But hypothetically, let's say the evidence comes out and they're like, here is the irrefutable proof. Boom. It's proven. Nobody can doubt it. Would you keep supporting him? The thing is, is that I know that he's innocent. I know these girls. Yeah, you're not answering the question, though. It's important to know. Aiden, basically on a stream. Why would I even go down that road to know that they're innocent? <laughs> well, I think it's important to get to the heart oh, of it. Oh, if Tate's innocent. Okay. I'd like to know that if somebody was proven to be mm. a R-wordist or a sex trafficker, would you continue to support them? And this is purely but hypothetical. But Fresh and Fit do I mean, support R-worders. Then you got nothing to worry about. But if he's... Proven, and I mean, how do you prove it? Would you Put stop? Would you stop supporting him? If he, was, if he was doing that stuff, I would have known years ago. Would you continue to support him if he did that stuff he's accused of? I'm telling you, I wouldn't have been friends with him in the first place if he was one uh, a trafficker. Oh, doing these okay. Uh, Walter, would you support him? If, been friends in the first place. Since, well, since, since he's not wanting to answer the question, maybe. Uh, uh, would you I think I kind of think that answers it. That pushed great allegations. On other people yourself oh sh okay i'm happy to get into that we'll just take it we'll absolutely talk about that you kind of you busted your nut there right at the what? top hey eh, walter what i busted a heavy load bro heavy you load. fucking oh, creamed God. your pants too fast man you gotta pay yourself big nuts right big, oh, absolutely <laughs> man that was... i'm just simply i'm simply saying we've known these guys for years we wouldn't have been friends with them and been cool with them to the level that we are if yeah involved in any of that stuff we know the guys very well they're not like dude these charges are bogus that's why you haven't heard anything about the case in months you know it, it, everybody knows it's a farce and also to be fair their camera footage shows all the evidence yeah so if you want to get into details here bro so I, I, court, to be honest wait I, I don't want to debate like the facts of the case because i've been through it and in my opinion it's irrefutable that being yeah. said, you guys say the same thing, so whatever. We I, I actually don't care about the the details. I'm just interested if you would support him if it was proven. If you saw a video of him raping a girl, I mean that's horrible <laughs> to say. Uh, uh, sorry for being so vulgar. I would think they would like, support him even if he was found guilty. Would you stop supporting him? No, if he was found guilty, they would still well, support him. Well, to make him. it very clear, because they wouldn't believe the guilty that charge. Did that. Okay, good. That's good. In general, what about you? Um, and also, luckily, they're assuming you know they would know. Innocent, so. There you go. That's There's it. That's, there you go. Them. You answered the question. And uh, Fit or Myron? Uh, hold on one sec. My mic is acting. Crazy. Okay, go ahead. He got you. All right. Can you can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I can, can hear you. you. Yeah. So what I said was we wouldn't even have been friends with him had that been a thing. We we know these guys. That's not an answer. That's not an answer though. I'm telling you, we wouldn't have been even friends with him in the first place. Yeah. No. Do you usually have trouble mm -hmm. not answering questions directly? No, it's not about that. It's about just it's not even a, a real point. I mean, it's a real question. It has a question mark behind it. It's not even a scenario because they, they didn't do it. <laughs> it's a hypothetical situation, which is what I explained in the beginning. I'm telling you, we wouldn't even have been friends in the first place. If Walter they crushed that question, by the way. He absolutely hey, crushed it. He's like, nope. And I was like, yo, Walter's the man. It's easy. Well, like I said before, we wouldn't even have been friends if that was the case. And we know these guys well. Yeah, and they're no, not. I hear you. That's not an answer to my question, though. It's fine. But anyway, um, so regardless, let me ask you this then. Look, what would it take? <clears throat> like, what evidence would be required to convince either one of you guys that he is guilty of some kind of crime? And again, 
Good question. You guys think he's innocent? You've seen the evidence. I'm talking just hypothetically, like, like I said, a video or something. Like, what would it take? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that we, the reason why I'm so, you know, strong on this is because I've looked at the case. I've looked at the evidence. I've looked at everything. I've looked at the surveillance footage. I know who the individuals are that made these allegations, and and it's it's all a farce, bro. It's all a lie. That's why. I can speak so confidently about it, and I'm telling you, because I know these individuals personally. I've been, I spent a significant amount of time with them. I know that they're innocent. I don't trust Myron oh, no, at Myron, all. You worked on cases like this before. And I've done cases like this before as well. You're you not know, a I've lawyer. Done. I mean, what the fuck? What do you mean you've worked cases like this? You have don't have credentials to I've talk arrested, about that? I've arrested He's human traffickers. Well, arrested well, human well, since when are police arrested. lawyers? Um, you have no FBI legal agent. standing to say you've worked on cases like this. That does, yes, he does. You don't have any authority. Hold on. I'm the one that has to bring the case to the lawyer for prosecution, and I have to yeah, develop obviously. the evidence. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that feels develop like a weird. The evidence? Does that mean faking evidence? What do you mean developing the evidence? Okay. What? As no, I'm, can't, I, I'm being facetious there. Okay, I'm not okay, actually okay, accusing okay. you of anything. Okay. But, okay, Walter, okay. I saw you raise your hands like, uh, get a load of this guy. Since when do police – do you believe that a police officer has the – training and authority to comment on on uh legal proceedings well before the case even that's brought a weird question court, so not to do the work right yeah they arrest people is right it, since so when is that knowing, so knowing cases and talking to juries and for example for example um you know lawyers yeah. like that, he would know beforehand what's happening from a grower grow standpoint so i think on some level he would know on the basis of what's happening with this case. There is no prosecution if there's no law enforcement but I don't to trust... arrest the individuals for the prosecution. Yes, I know how it works, that you arrest, but then it goes to court where people who are trained to talk about the law do that. So you're so, uh, you Ethan, I mean, you're the muscle, right? The police are the muscle. They go, so, they do the Ethan, thing. Let, let they, don't make, they don't make judgments. Uh, 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 let me clarify this for you. Yeah. I was a former special agent in Homeland Security. That's the feds. We don't yeah. bring a case unless it's. We don't bring the case forward unless it's ready for trial. We don't indict unless it's ready for trial. There's a reason why the feds. Have you don't indict action. anybody. That's what the district attorney does. No, that's the AUSA's office. You know, assistant United States Attorney's office. United States Attorney's office, and then the AUSA's assistant United States Attorney's work underneath. You the indict United people. No. Right. What I'm telling you is that the feds don't indict unless they're ready for trial. Okay. The Eight feds, bro, you can't, you can't do cast an umbrella and say you're, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're all feds here. Like, what, you're the FBI now, too? I mean, what he are you talking the, about? What? They're all 1811s, a.k.a. special agents. That's the job series, whether you're ATF, FBI, Homeland Security. I mean, Ethan, I'm not. I'm going to be very respectful here. You're out of your wheelhouse. If you want to have this discussion. <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. Yeah. But every single uh, criminal investigator in the government that <sighs> investigations, Excuse typically me. it's a special agent, postal inspector, et cetera, it's an 1811 job series. It's all the same thing. They get paid the same level, et cetera. So, criminal investigator, that's the general thing. Go okay. on USA, the, an 18 and you're going to see it. I understand. The reason I bring it up is just because I hear you oh. using those credentials frequently that's to say, to, to, you know, pass Andrew Tate. And I've always thought that it's just kind of silly really since you have no, since you have no really legal training. What? You have no training in, uh, do you have, have you passed the bar exam? What? Have you taken the bar exam? You don't need... Do you don't need to take the bar exam to, to practice law? Probable no. cause. What? To develop probable cause. Probable which is state cause. State. That's like a right. fucking, you're comparing Hold a on. molehill to a Hold mountain in terms Hold of on. legality. Hold on. To make an arrest, you need probable cause. And yeah, if you get someone indicted, you need probable cause. However, <laughs> at the federal level, AUSAs are very picky. They have the ability to take a case or not based on if it's good enough for them. They can go ahead and turn down cases. They actually turn down many cases. That's why most cases go to the state a lot of the times and don't end up getting prosecuted to the full extent. But when it goes to the feds and the AUSA actually takes it, they have a 98 to 99 percent win rate. Yeah, that's their lawyers are good. Criminals, that's why most well, criminals are scared weird. of going to the feds. But the lawyers are good. However, they can't put a good case together unless the investigators make the case. The AUSAs aren't interviewing suspects. The AUSAs don't have informants. The AUSAs aren't doing surveillance. The AUSAs aren't doing Title III intercepts. The AUSAs aren't debriefing sources. They're not doing any of that. It's the investigators that do that. And, and the thing is, is that when you're doing crimes at a federal level, you're way more thorough in your report writing, in your investigation, et cetera. Ethan's team okay, thought good. they had him. Thank, uh, thank you for clarifying that. Ethan's Fed team reacts. were like, Ethan, this is What's so that, good. What's uh, Walter? The channel Fed Reacts. I mean, Feds I react. Is, uh, a I proud for, Fed. So well, I, I, anyway, to touch back on the Andrew Tate thing, sure. I just want to show you guys this clip of oh, him, okay. and then and then you guys can comment on it. That's okay. Then you start huh. saying things like, "Oh yeah, but you're always working." Th th this is from one of his courses that he was uh, teaching uh, years ago. 
I have to do some traveling and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling is a great one because the thing about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Oh, and you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? Work for you doing what? So I'll have a webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen, come and let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear from a girl. And this is where your bottom bitch has to be Ugh. trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not gonna pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. You need to tell your girl that you're paying the tax. Because girls are lazy, and oh. girls are stupid, and girls oh. don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you, and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we've made this much money, but I'm gonna pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One, it's another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. I mean, that that's illegal, right? What he just so, described. So you're showing me a bunch of clips from yeah. a from a course yep. from a decade ago. Well, what's what's the purpose? What's Did your, it stop what, being illegal since it was ten? He he says that he fa what's falsifies. Okay, what's point of but you said then? he didn't break the law, and he's saying here that he falsifies tax document to to he lies to his employees, if you want to call that, uh, to to control them. He lies on their taxes and steals money from them. Is that not a problem? So what is your point of contention here? Is it is this is this a debate on Andrew Tate now? Is this what this is going to be? Is oh this Lord. bro? Are you seriously trying to get out of this so quickly? No, like no, you no, can't I'm even not, engage I'm it not at all. To get out of it, but I'm saying I thought we were going to debate on masculine or whatever. But go ahead. What's your point of contention? <laughs> That's well, genocide. No, I, what? This is, is, is my this is my only question about Tate. I don't I I don't continue to go on and on about him. Yeah. No, tell me specifically, what's your point of contention here? Is it him having a girl come with him to have dinner with the chick? Is it the taxes? What is it specifically? It's, it's, it's actually. It, like I had said, the taxes part seems to be explicitly illegal and exploitative. Like, okay. I don't, there's no other way to interpret that unless you can illuminate me. Okay, so let me ask you this, Ethan. Uh, do you make as much money as the people that work for you? Can I ask you this question, Myron? Do you have a no, trouble just, answering direct questions? No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm answering your <sighs> question right now, but I need to you to understand my perspective where I'm coming here, so it makes sense. Do you make as much as the people that work underneath you? The answer is probably no, right? You make more money than they do, correct? Because you're the boss, you run the podcast, they are subordinates, correct? Sure. So same in this situation. The women work for him. He has a webcam business. He takes the money and he does his <laughs> what? with it to go ahead and run. <laughs> what? Business. Okay. Oh are you, my do God. Do you actually believe that? Tax laws are different. Yeah. Do you Let me read this again. Let me watch this. Still sitting there going, okay, okay. Work underneath you. Now that allows you to do two things. Don't make as much money. One, it's another control element. If I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. So control element. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. Pay her less. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I'd give them three. And I'd keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, but we had to pay the tax first, and then it's 50-50. If they say, why is it 50-50? Because I'm the one on camera. You say, because I'm the one typing. I'm the one with the, the property you're working in. I'm the one paying the bills, the electricity. I'm the one who's, uh, and the electricity and every other maintenance cost of this property. I'm the one who bought the equipment. I'm the one who knows what he's doing. I'm the one with the knowledge. I'm the da 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 da, -da. Shut the fuck up. Go online. Yeah, and then she Oh, it's just like you are of H3, and you make significantly more than all of your employees. Yeah, I don't steal their money and lie to them about take... taxes. That's illegal. Obviously. No, well, the point is, again, he's in Romania. He's not in the United States. So... I'm pretty sure it's illegal to steal money from people in Romania. It's it's not about that. He's employing these women. They're making more money with him than they he, Myron is such a board. fucking scumbag, in Romania bro. is about $400 US. You bro, understand these the women? amount of money is literally yeah, in, have... immaterial. He, no, he, he no. said... He said, I lied. Walter, what do you think about this? He, he said, I steal money from these girls and lie to them about it. He, he literally said that. Ethan, Ethan, if we need to... Wait, hold on. Don't talk over Walter. I want to hear from him. No, there needs to be context here because you asked me this situation, right? You asked me for me specifically, so I'm going to go ahead and answer you. These women, okay, were making no money prior. The average salary in Romania is around $400 US. These girls are making 10K plus a month at this point. 
okay? He's taking a percentage. They're still getting thousands of Bro, dollars. Oh, that's insane logic. Like, You're saying it as long as as long as someone you're Okay, I'm going to have to pause the show and then we're going to have to like catch up to it because obviously like I got to give my feedback. But yeah, like I that that um way of doing it, Myron twisting it to be like, "Oh, he's just taking a percentage." But the women are unaware of the percentage. He's telling them they're giving him them 50, but he's taking more than that. He's taking 70. So that's the idea. It's not that he's taking a cut, it's that he's lying about the cut that he's taking and that he's not paying their tax for them. That's the fucking problem, Myron. Stealing from gets like a good a decent chunk and it doesn't matter. He lies point. to them. He says they, no, bro. He says they think they're getting fifty percent. They're actually getting set. I tell them they're getting fifty percent. I'm actually giving them seven percent. What do you call that? Let me ask you this, Ethan. Do your employees know exactly how much money you make and how much you pay them in comparison to how much I'm you I'm talking make? about their salary, bro. Why can't you answer a question? Same Walter, situation, go, my friend. Same situation. It, it, it's not. Walter, go ahead. I'm curious what you think. Yeah, so I just find it funny you're pinpointing Andrew because a lot of business run this way in America, especially. No, uh, no. Uh, on, People do on. not lie about how much taxes they're paying and then with, and then secretly withhold money. That's called fucking theft. Well, I'm referring to people paying whatever, whatever they want to pay employees. I'm just saying in general. It's not about people, salary, dude. It's nothing to do with that. That is about salary. That's extremely important, though. It doesn't matter how much they're making. Right, and this is this is why I love it. You play these clips, right? And you and you're playing these clips out of context, and people don't know the full story of what it's like to live in Romania, how much money the average person makes, how much these women are making. Bullshit. To the average person. Do, do you guys do that to your employees? You made these women millionaires, but you don't know that. Do you? It and doesn't other, matter how much money they make. Why don't you understand that, bro? Do you do you treat your do you treat your employees that way? So now we're discussing how people treat their employees. I'm confused here. So we're debating like Walter. Stick with it, buddy. We, we're no offense, but this is literally what we're discussing. <laughs> this is boring, bro. Like, okay, know, we can move on. We can move on. I, I don't think this is going anywhere anyway. I mean, but right. absolutely, but again, I'm not here to talk about Tate. I just, I just want to get your guys' thoughts on that. Although I don't know, Walter, if you want to discuss okay. any further on the if you think he's described theft or if you think that this is just normal payroll stuff. I think it's irrelevant. Uh, Walter, you were the answer to the question guy. So confronted with a tape of him confessing to a crime, we close our eyes and. Uh, think of better times. Again, he's running a business. <laughs> he's paying the women a percentage. What he tells them and what they get paid. I mean, it's at the end Man. of the day, these women are making a bunch of money. He tells Who them cares? a percentage. Go on, follow that thought. No, no, no. But what I'm telling you is that okay, relative they... to how much money they were making before, relative to where they live in Romania, relative to what they were doing prior, That's this is like so the money. He's turning these women into millionaires, dude. You know what? Ethan, Bubbles, this bro. is simple. Tell your employees how much money you're you making pay. right now. It's got yeah, nothing bubbles, to bro. do with how that. Much you pay them. And then tell them how much you pay them and see how they react. Well, frankly, yeah. they do have yeah. access to the <laughs> financials yeah. of the I, podcast. I, I, I know exactly how much money. Yeah, they, they, have, they do. Returns. Returns. I'm literally telling you they have transparency. What do you want? Dan sees everything. Everybody in the podcast sees everything. Not that that's relevant at all. At all. At all Great. Well, you know what? <laughs> that is your business. That's how you handle oh. it. So wait, hey, hold on. Myra, follow the thought. Let's follow the thought. You said he pays them a percentage. He said they think they're getting 50%. Then he says, actually, I give them 30%. He's lying, correct? Listen, man. I didn't day, bro. You want to put us in this? Okay, I'm just going to tell you this right now. The fact that Ethan wants to debate Fresh and Fit and not Abba and Preach, I think it's for the same reason people avoid me but are willing to talk to shittier people. It's because you know if you talk to a person who's actually decent, you'll have to actually recontextualize how you feel about them. So instead, you talk to people that are super shitty so you actually don't have to recontextualize how you feel about them and you get the views. And I think that says something about people. I think it says something about Ethan that he is willing to have Fresh and Fit on because they're easy targets because everyone hates them, right? But he won't talk to Abba and Preach because he knows Abba and Preach are decent people and he would have to literally recontextualize how he's talked major shit and lied about them and he'd actually have to be a better person after. Like, this is just kicking, like, this is e literally, like, the easiest, and same for H3H3. H3. I mean, same for Fresh and Fit. They're going after Ethan. Because they know that they can, like, their audience easily, like, hates Ethan. So instead of actually being challenged, they're just, like, this is so clout-driven for both of them. This is so gross, and I love every second of it, girl. The tea is teeing. It's hot seat to make us expose somebody on camera? Bosses oh. never tell Whatever their employees say. what they're actually, like, they don't know oh. how much. Bro, to. that's payroll tax. That's yeah, a federal that's crime. Super you weird. should know that. You're a fed, right? You're being weird, bros. Myron is Again, so weird. lives in Romania. It's oh, well. United. Oh, okay. So, so, so theft labor is like, walks. by the way, most of the girls he traffics there are not even Romanian. Uh, but I guess if you wait, who do you traffic? <sighs> who do you traffic, Ethan? Okay, Be Be Ethan. We want who do, you, who do you traffic, Ethan? We want names, Ethan. Real names. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he trafficked anyone. The girls that uh, work for him. 
Well, I think he's a sex trafficker, but I don't want to get caught in this argument. I don't care oh, about no, it. No, you said it. You said he did. So who did he do it, do it to? Who? We need some names. We need some names, bro. Coconuts. I don't. Uh, okay, so 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 he didn't sex traffic anyone. I I don't care about that point. He didn't oh, sex traffic. Right. But I'm oh, saying the girl. Good boy. Taking it back. Good okay, boy, you guys know. got me. So um, <laughs> the, but the girls who live there don't. They're not even uh. Romanian. And also, my about my employees. They may um. To be frank, Fresh and Fit have argued with Destiny multiple times. Yes. Destiny says Myron is an upstanding guy and he's like a good guy. So what do you mean? Destiny and Fresh and Fit aren't enemies. They're friends. So what does that matter? Like literally, what is that? That's not the same thing. They won't talk to Ab and Preach because Ab and Preach actually have a, 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 a value stance against them. They actually have like values. Of course, he talks to Destiny. Destiny literally calls him a good guy and, like, speaks highly of Myron. What do you mean? Like, that's not the same. Like, of course they're friends. Like, of course. Like, they don't... Th Ab and Preach have a principled issue with Ethan and Ab and Preach. It's about principles, which, obviously, like, if you think Myron is an upstanding person, you don't have any. Make 100% of what I tell them, I pay them. You understand that, right? I say, I say, Dan, I owe you, I'm going to pay you $1,000. And then at the end of the month, I give him $1,000. Andrew says, I'm going to pay you $1,000. Or Andrew says, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to pay you $1,000, but Ag ends up giving them $700. That's not honest. But we don't need to get into that. Let's move on. You guys want to move on? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give you this, bro. You're, you're a comedian. You're funny. I'll give you that. Thank you. He's got I think entertain. you're nice. Walter, I do think you're nice. I think you have a kind heart. I think you just got... <laughs> I, I swear to God, I feel like you just got like, in with the with the wrong people. Like, you, <laughs> you have a sweet heart, Walter. You don't <laughs> have to be, live this life. <laughs> bro, this is fire and ice, bro. Like, I'm chill cool. He's fiery hot. It works, bro. It works. Oh. You know? Fire and what? ice. What? Yeah. Okay. I like that. <sighs> um... The Tate Brothers uh, Bucharest compound was initially rated by American uh, women and a Moldovan woman. I don't, you know what? I didn't even want to get into this. It's fine. All right. So let's move on. Uh, to, you guys have spoke about this issue a lot about rape culture. Oh, Is God. rape culture a myth? Grape. Grape. Sorry. Grape culture. Uh, oh. And we're we not talking about wineries, right, fellas? We did a Definitely full podcast not. on this. Uh -huh. um, all the studies are there and everything else like that. But yeah. So do you, if somebody's actually graped, do you, that's something you take seriously? Of course. They're yeah. one of the most heinous crimes. I, I genuinely think <laughs> I, um, that do that should get, be put to death. Yep. It's one of the worst really? things you can do. Yeah. So, so you think cool. rape, you think rape is one of the worst crimes someone could do? It's not funny. It's not interesting. It's like just death oh, no. sentence. No, I, I think guys that, that do that to women need to be dealt with in a certain manner. And that's unacceptable behavior. So here's a guest on your show named uh, Charleston White. Let's listen oh, to this. Oh, God. Here we go. For White? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Nah. Here we go. Okay. Uh, well, we we uh we used to run trains on white girls. Choo-choo. She's got a Robin Hood. Uh, uh, we used to do it uh, without permission. So it's not like she came over and said, hey, I want to sleep with all you guys. Yeah. We said, hey, man, that white girl like you. Get over here. And then we uh what? put. Oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just come in with dicks out. Oh shit! Yeah, Yo. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah she, We're about to go on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. So, um, do you think that what your friend um, Charleston should be put to death? So, wait, hold on. Who's friend? Okay, whatever. Your guest. Yeah, you guys are pretty friendly with him. No, we're not. You were la I mean, you were laughing. You you seem to be taking that, uh, having a, a laugh about it. Do you know why? Why? No, do, do you know why? Go ahead, please. I'm listening. Because we cannot believe you said that on camera. <laughs> so, this, I can't be serious. Also, the other thing, too, um, Ethan, did you see that full interview, Ethan, out of curiosity? Probably didn't. I've seen, I've seen bits of it. No, I haven't watched the whole thing. You can watch the full interview. Okay. Out of context. So, uh, fantastic. Once again, you like to do the out of context thing, but it's okay. Let me aware Go you. ahead and just explain. During you don't have to do that. Interview, during the course of that interview... He went through his life story and how he changed his life and turned it around from a life of crime, robbing people, being involved in a murder, doing that type of thing when he was young. 
He talked about all that in the beginning and how he turned his life around and how he advocates for the youth now to not be involved in a life of crime. So what that clip that you took right there. You said rapists should be put to death. Yeah, they should be. Well, he just said he gang raped. And also keep in mind that he was quoting a song from Two Life Crew. So, so also like, it didn't well, happen. It, well, of course, he's sensationally, sensationalizing it by quoting the music <laughs> thing. But I'm telling you that he was explaining his life of crime prior, right, during the course of that podcast. So you're taking that one clip. So of we're John forgiving Sir, him. You guys the rape. No, we didn't. What, what I'm telling you is that we were listening to a life story that he was talking about and how he changed his life around. So I'm, Did you guys hear about the guy that was on Joe Rogan who talks to the youth and like talks about reform and they just found a dead body in his apartment? Joe Rogan got crazy guests, bro. Obviously, he did some shitty things when he was younger and he turned his life around. So if you are a. I feel like I listened to a lot of that interview for the context and I remember it being like pretty horrendous. So I feel like there's more to that clip that's even worse than that one line. Grapist, then you can basically um, recover and be a guest, uh, a celebrated guest on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Well, he was a child also when he did that. He was a child. A song that he was quoting again. Again, so you guys give him a lot of grace. He was quoting a song, number one. Number two, he was a kid when that happened. Again, this is why it's a kid. podcast before you go in. He was a kid. He was in his teenage years. Okay. Like 18? No, below that. 17? I don't remember the exact age, but I know he was a teenager. Okay, well, I mean. Wow. Uh, clearly, there's a disparity there of uh, meaning. But I'll say this. Since you guys seem to believe that he's mm. goofing around. Or not goofing, but you guys think he's uh, exaggerating. And that, but but let, me, let me just tell you a little bit something about your friend, Charleston White. You guys, you guys know friend. most of this, but the audience, yeah, but I'm saying this for the audience. In, 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 19, in 1991, he was sent to jail for murdering a man who tried to shop, stop him from shoplifting. And yep. to, but, but now, we're, 2019, this was five years ago, he was arrested for unlawful carrying a weapon. 2019, he was arrested for assault with a deadly, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. In 2022, two years ago, he was arrested for DUI, unlicensed carry of weapon, possession of marijuana. I mean, whatever, so 420 blaze. Uh, 2023, last year, stopped by FBI over kidnapping allegations. And again, in 2023, he was arrested for animal cruelty and aggravated assault with deadly weapon charges. This is a very serious criminal uh, who's definitely he, 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 uh, he, he, admittedly he, done he, rape. And y'all really are friend. interested, you're interested that. Not what? Friend, bro. Does this have to do with us? <laughs> it's a video of you in it, Walter. I mean, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I mean bro, let's rub those coconuts together, man. What do you mean, what does it have to do with you? It's a video with you in it. Use your brain, my nigga. We're not friends. We did a podcast. Yeah, we did a podcast, and we're not friends with him. And again, like I said before, the clip that you're listening <sighs> to, he was describing his life story of what he had done. Do we believe in reformed rapists? Do we think you can be a rapist and be reformed? I do, but I think it takes a very specific kind of person to be a reformed rapist. Like a, a very specific kind of person, especially if you were really young when it happened. And the rape has been, um, it's like a very wide spectrum of what is rape now. But in general, I do believe in that. I just think it's very hard to believe it in people because it's really rare. Like, I think it's probably, but on a planet of 8 billion people, it's bound to happen. Someone's going to qualify for that. The question is, do we think this guy who recently has a bunch of offenses against him is reformed? He actually okay. mentioned everything mentioned as well. So, again, that was him telling his life story, man. Okay. And so, he was using a 2 live crew song to describe it. So, put rapists to death unless they're... Cool and want to come on our show. That's not what I said at all. Like I said, you said put rapists to death. You said that verbatim during this Obviously, interview. Minors, minors have a different legal system than adults do. So he was a minor when he did it. Yeah, you didn't mention that. Yeah, Ethan, I just mentioned you he didn't mention the minor thing. What? What, Walter? He was a minor when he did that. Also, you're a podcaster, right? So you know guests come on your show all the time. What about your bad guests? I can name a few. Yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a combative interview. You guys, you know what I mean? Like you guys were laughing and having a good time and being like, oh shit. Well, as podcasters, Ethan, because I guess talk. So whatever they want to say, they can say because it's their podcast. Now, granted, you're just yeah. Chad is saying he was twelve and thirteen. I don't know if that's true, but if he was literally that young, obviously, like I believe reform is possible, but it's really difficult because you're running into so many more problems. Like people who aren't rapists are having a hard time reforming themselves, and now you add something like that on top of it. That's a pretty big fucking thing to come up back from. You know, it's probably really, really difficult to stop. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm thinking violent rapist. I'm not thinking like I'm thinking of a very specific intentional rapist, um, a very specific like orchestrated manip like malicious rapist. Um, I know, again, every bubble de describes rape differently. So I'm trying to be very specific. I don't I think it's very difficult to think that you could reform somebody like that. Um, but also you're dealing with so many more layers of trauma and issues and so many. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Some of our podcasts are too. You guys are very, very, very well in thought as well. Actually, bro, your guests are really well out there. Like Liberty King. Scammer. Mm -hmm. Isn't that one of your friends too? Actually, if I'm correct, you're friends. Friends. That's, that's your real friend. And he's scammed how many people? Millions? Yeah. Wait, I, oh, isn't that your buddy? Damn, that's your friend, buddy. Coco. That's fucked up, bro. Coco. Yeah, and as he's telling the story, I do think it's more like it feels reminiscing versus like I've really changed and this is something I did that's wrong. You gotta hit that island breeze, man. You're getting emotional. Oh, bro. I love it. It's chill. I mean, but yeah, I mean, if you're gonna use that angle of like you brought this guy on your podcast, my friend, he's not even a friend, bro. No, it wasn't that you. Okay, you know what? I missed what? when I said he was. I'm telling you this, but we gotta have things in right, Go ahead and do your thing. You guys are getting emotional, though, I have to say. No, no, we're not getting emotional. Emotions are high. 
to you. Need to breath. I'm just describing to you that he was he was describing his life story, which involved criminal and nefarious acts. Okay. By and the way, Liver King was exposed after he came on our show. Oh well, maybe you should do your research. Maybe. What? What the fuck? A crystal ball, Walter? Oh well, guess <laughs> we need a crystal ball. No, he, you said you didn't know he did these crimes when he was on your show. It's in your head, Ethan. Oh my god. Yeah. Do you understand how future and past are different? Ball, I guess we both need a. Oh, like, Walter, do you understand the difference between future and past? Are you aware of temporal changes? Well, you things in the future. Exactly. Wait, 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 animals and getting caught with other shit. This is after the fact. How are we supposed to know that? Well, we no, I'm talking about the rape. I'm, 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 okay. okay. The reason. The reason I brought up his rap sheet is not to say you guys knew about it. It's to show you guys that he's a serious criminal. He was and he still is. So to say that he's embellishing it, I think, is giving him a lot of uh, is giving him a lot of grace when he's admittedly just. Uh, a rapist, and he, he recounts the story with a lot of uh, joy, it seems like. Uh, and, yeah. Let me watch this one oh, time, no. and, then, and then we can move on. Uh, okay. uh, well, we, we are... Sure, uh, you yeah. had to come yeah. in to discuss with us on this thing. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah. Did you not want to... Would you... I'm curious about your guys' reaction. Let me see this. Trying on white girls. Oh, uh, <laughs> choo-choo! I mean, he's uh, smiling. Uh, uh, oh, oh, choo-choo, choo-choo. Yeah, choo. I ran trains on girls, okay. And then you went, choo-choo! Yep, because that's considered consensual sex most of the time when you run a train on a girl. Okay, let's see how this develops. Do it uh, without permission. So it's not like she came over and said, hey, I want to sleep. What? Oh, oh, oh. Like well, all, listen. Yeah. We say, hey, man, that white girl like you. Get over here. And then we, uh, put, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just come in with dicks out. Oh, shit. Yeah, Yo. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she... Now, if somebody's committing you with the worst crime that's ever been, the worst thing someone could do, do you, I mean, I understand that you guys are He just said, yourself, he just admitted you know it's rape. Like, Bro, I don't know what you do here, but bro, yeah, hold, hold the L. Yeah, you're, you're really, you're really, you're still here, bro. Really trying to grasp at anything here. I see what you're like again. He literally just said it didn't matter if she wanted it or liked it, right? He's telling his life story. All right, we're listening. Again, he says we come out with our dicks out, and we're like, what the fuck? So it's like that. Like I think anybody like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell? How much longer? How much longer did this interview go after that revelation that he mass raped? He's a mass rapist. How much longer did the combo go? Did you guys kick him out or anything? I don't recall how much longer. Well, actually, Ethan, if you saw, we're not friends at all. And actually, after the show, we had some beef. Oh, for real? What did you guys beef about? Everything. We don't, yeah, we just everything. Right. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, this so is another. You're saying like, we're his friend, bro? Come on. I think that, you know what? I misspoke. I don't know if you guys are friends. That's fine. It's the thing we try to approach it on. You do a lot, though. You speak a lot, honestly. Well, I mean, I, I'm willing. If I say that you guys are friends, and, and I'm wrong. I'll admit it. I don't, I don't know if you guys are friends. I don't think that detail is important. We're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, switch. Yo, I mean, wrong here by saying you're Okay, so, so, okay. Um, We didn't know. We didn't know. It's fine. Okay. There you go. We didn't know that he was going to say that shit. You guys, you guys. All right. So, um, thank you guys. Moving on. Um. Ethan, can I ask you a question, bro? Hey, go ahead. I think, honestly speaking, bro, you're a great person at heart. Well, thanks. That makes two of us. Things can happen where we may speak on what we say. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, me and I were coming up in the streets, rumble streets, you know, trying to make a name for ourselves. And somebody made an accusation against my friend Myron here. Some, you know, Listerine was misplaced and uh, not used correctly. But all of a sudden, you and your team came to the defense of this person allegations and surprisingly you said that we were rapists and i was like didn't no. say that that's actually that's a flat out lie i don't know why you need to lie about that you insinuated did not he no, cheated I all the Ethan did. you guys want to go over it he insinuated that it was sexual assault what, baby? that's true that's true and i believe it was by the way we can go over that i do believe you did sexually assault her Myra. and we Ooh. can go over that she didn't even want to say that yeah wow. i know that's I know, I know exactly that's why i'll say it i'll say it for her is Ethan doubling down okay anyhow do you want to speak a lot do you think rape is the same as hold on hold on ethan if this was you bro and someone accuses you of this, you know what I say? I need all the evidence before I say Ethan did this. Because as a man, That's what we true. Through, bro, it's terrible. Women lie all the time and say, oh, he did this and that. Which normally could not be true. And we believe it because she said it. Versus, what does Ethan say? You know what? Mm -hmm. I'll give Ethan that benefit of doubt. Unfortunately, you didn't go that. You, you say, you know what? Fuck these niggas. They're grapists. Yeah. And, and also, I would never and, use the N-word, Walter. How dare you? Or, well, not today, anyway. And, and, and then we did our podcast, right? <laughs> and we, we debunked it. We showed the text message. We showed everything. Yeah. And um, oh, So let's and, look at the clips, then. Instead of typing, Ethan is uh, talking literally hypothetically, saying... let's, just, let's just dig into it. Ethan. Clearly, this is this is something of a point of contention. So here, I mean, I don't really care about it. I, I'm, I'm cool with the, debating the other stuff, but if you want to go well, Walter there's... brought it up. He seems to care about why. it. We just want to know why. I That's mean, wild. I think the, well, I think the, because I think well, Myron clear. sexually assaulted her. How? Well, let's We're, get into it. Y'all want to talk about it or not? Yeah, of course. All right. So We're here's general? so let's let's cool let's start and by then, watching so her recount the, the story. Bed. Okay. Oh let's my start god. Here. Oh my god. And let's just, you know what I mean? Let's just be concrete about. It. We don't need to speak hypothetically. Um, here is her retelling the story. And um. I'm like trying to, like, you know, again, like... Because <laughs> you guys lost 10,000 subscribers after this. You guys know that, right? Like, so? we did our episode, I'm warning you, Ethan, like... You did your episode on this, then we did our retaliation episode showing yep. the evidence. You think you affected our sub count? That's crazy. Oh, I got oh, the numbers. We got the numbers, buddy. You guys lost 10,000 that day. We can show it right now. Yeah. Okay. On Social Blade. We, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you know this, buddy, but we lose 10,000 every month. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't... Hey, hey bro, I lose 10,000 every month, day. sucker. Look, that shit's like that, that's shit's commonplace, man. Y'all take credit for that. But anyway, you let's talk about. Can we talk about the actual issue instead of getting so emotional all the time? 
No, I'm just showing you the numbers. Who's emotional, bro? I'm, I'm just warning you. you want I just, to Walter, when I'm trying, I'm just trying to have a straight conversation. You guys start screaming and hollering about sub counts and stuff. It's very emotional. He's racist, bro. They're just fucking. <laughs> do you guys do you want to watch this clip? Let's Would go for it, man. All right. Oh, he gives him cues like I want to leave. I don't want to be here. And he's like, "Oh, you can sit on the bed." So I sit on the bed, and I'm sitting at the edge of the bed. You know, like the memes, how they say how girls are. And um, I'm sitting at this edge of the bed. He's like, "Oh, you know, you can come up a little bit more." So now I come up, but I leave a nice gap between the both of us, where it's like very obvious, like I don't like you, that I'm leaving a gap between us. And I'm on my phone. He's on his phone. And I remember, again, I was speaking about my views. Once again, he just jumps on top of me and starts making out with me, wow. and like, like, like trying to kiss me and stuff. And so I'm like, I have my hands like on him where it's like, I don't want him like laying on me like intimately. So I'm just holding my hands up and I'm like, no, 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 no. Mind you, this was about like max a minute long. And I was wearing like this shirt and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I said he lifted to him, up your shirt and kind of looked at underneath it and commented? Yeah. Yeah, my chest. Because I have, I have piercings. You, you, I'm yeah. sorry, you, you said what? No, I said I have piercings, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very Did, creepy. It was so very weird. I, 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 I don't want to... Uh, <laughs> this... This is a bad. This is very bad. This is a very disturbing yeah. uh, story, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. It's interesting, but at that point, I think like, he may have know, assaulted you. I mean, at this point, I. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to say that, but like again, like. Mm, I don't want to say that. So, so, and again, that's why I. First of all, I don't think it's fair how you guys dogpiled on her because she never even said it was assault. I did. So let's talk about me. <laughs> Oh my because, God. Um, Ethan, the reason why she said it wasn't assault is because um, you're leaving out the part where she came over to my place. She left where she was at to come to my place. She went and hung out with me. We went and got food prior to this. Then we were in my bed. She came back to my place, by the way, after this. Matter of fact, Fresh, didn't she ask you to give you uh, give her a ride to my spot? That is correct. Oh. And oh, all yeah. of those things entitle oh. you to grab her fucking top and expose her breasts? No. What? Um, but what? that's literally what that's what she said. That's you did. what adults do when they're gonna fuck, Dude, bro. Max a minute long. And I was she, she were kissing. We're Say. making out. I, I, I don't know if you're in the game, Ethan. I know you're married and you haven't been, you know, single for a while, but um, it's called escalation. It's called women showing she, you signs. She said and, that and you attempted to kiss her and she pushed you off. That, no, that's, that's not true, bro. That's because not. I told her to go get Listerine, and she went ahead and did it. Okay. That's what well, literally, she was like, he made fun of my breath, so I went to go get mouthwash to make out with him. This girl was consenting. Girls, listen to Auntie Brittany. You cannot go to a man's house in his bedroom and not be signaling sex if it's Myron. If you're in the Myron bubble, he's fucking you. He's not dating you. He doesn't like you. Myron doesn't like women unless he's fucking them. If you go to Myron's place at night when no one is there, he's going to think you want to bang, especially since you take Listerine to freshen up your breath to fuck. Like, listen to me. If you do not want to fuck Myron, do not go to his place after hours because that's the only thing he wants to do with you. I don't know what your parents didn't raise you to know this, but that's what else would a man like Myron want to do with you in his apartment? He doesn't tell women his feelings. He doesn't think women are smart. He doesn't want to have a conversation with you. He doesn't have female friends. What do you think a woman is doing in his apartment at dark? What do you think you're doing after dark at Myron's place? You dumb bitch. Myron doesn't respect you. He's there to fuck you and drop you. If you don't want to fuck Myron, do not go to his apartment alone. Don't play stupid with me. Myron doesn't have female friends. What the fuck are you doing in his apartment? That's so fucking stupid. You're so fu your survival skills are literally zero. You're so dumb. What you're so dumb. What do you th listen to this man? Protect yourselves. How what are you thinking? I'm so sorry. What are you literally thinking? What? Of course he thinks you're there for sex. He doesn't have any other reason to talk to you. What? Came from. Well, first yeah. of all, let me say this. Let me. Then you're gonna win this. You weren't there. Here's all right. Well, uh, here's another thing too. You're getting excited. To I'd like to make my point, but you can go ahead and finish. No, no, no. Here's another thing too. At the beginning of that clip that you like to play, because you like to play clips and not the full thing. I said, "Oh, come up." And what does she do? She gets off the edge of the bed and comes closer to me. I mean, I think that's a sign, right? Well, Even that's what you said. That's that's what she's, you said. Happened. He didn't force her. He's saying, "Come on up," which when she comes closer means she's signaling to him an intimacy. 
oh my God, were you, are you all autistic? You don't know what fucking social cues are? She just said anything. Oh, yeah. oh no, you're right. She, she said, she said, he asked me to come closer and I came a bit closer. But that, that makes sense to me. Uh, if, you know, let me, I think it's reasonable that I, that I heard her say he jumped on me. Yeah, let me speak, please. Thank you. I think it's reasonable for me to conclude. She says he jumped on me and he lifted my top to expose my breast and commented on my breast. That that is reasonable for me to conclude that that is uh, sexual assault. And so, and then when I really doubled down on it is um, when you responded to it. So here, let me watch a clip of you responding to it, Myron. He's wearing like this shirt and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment. And then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, and Wait, I he lifted him up out. your shirt and kind of... That, my friends, is what she's mad about. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let's, let's, let's play just a little bit longer and I'll expose it for y'all. I've looked at underneath it and commented? Yeah, yeah, my chest, because I have, I have piercings. You, you, yeah. sorry, you, you said what? No, I said I have piercings, so he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very it, creepy. It was so very I, 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 I don't want to- No, women don't mention nipple piercings unless they're trying to get you to pay attention to their boobs. Guys, why would she mention she has nipple piercings unless she's flirting? That's literally a flirting technique used by people is she does she not know oh yeah myron do you know um i have piercings underneath my top like in what context are you saying that to someone like myron to someone like myron i don't even like fresh and fit you know why because myron doesn't respect women myron literally doesn't respect women why would you go to myron's house after hours he does not respect you and he's going to use you for sex that is the consent the consent is you walking into his apartment and continuing to make out with him, washing your mouth with like mouthwash. Guys, again, I know we believe in explicit consent, but most of the world isn't doing that. Most of the world isn't doing explicit consent because most of the world doesn't want it. If I told this girl to do that with Myron, she wouldn't even want it. If I like I'm telling you right now, you have to understand the bubble you're in and your rules aren't universal. Not everybody needs explicit consent. You can't force people to want it, right? So the signaling consent is going to his place, having mouthwash, mentioning her nipples, making sure she goes closer to him on the bed and not leaving, right? Like you guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. Be adults, be responsible with your bodies, be responsible with your lives. You've got to grow the fuck up, grow the fuck up. Stop going into situations with fucking no clue genuinely and then telling me oh i'm smart though i know better do you then why the fuck did you do it and then of course without blaming yourself because we don't want you to have that self-hatred you've got to take accountability for the fact that you didn't know better if you didn't know better okay life is no one's going to protect you but you girl no one's going to protect you but you period okay period you got to be smart enough to protect yourself because myron he he didn't lie myron doesn't have to lie he literally, the fresh, if you watch the Fresh and Fit podcast, you should know not to go to Myron's house. Why don't you know not to go to Myron's house? By the way, Myron doesn't have to rape you because Myron apparently has women who want his dick. Myron doesn't even have to rape people because y'all apparently want his dick so bad. I don't even know why you want his dick so bad. Myron's? Out of all the dicks, Myron's? For shame. No, it was not creepy. She's mad because I basically made a joke about her titties being lopsided. Whatever. It is what the fuck it is, man. Which he's negging her. He's literally negging. That's Myron's thing. He tells women they're uglier, their breath smells, or titties are lopsided to make sure that their self-esteem is down so they fuck him. It's literally a technique he actually talks about in public. He literally brags about negging women and you let him neg you? And then you were like, oh, it worked. You went and... It literally worked on her, by the way. And that's the problem. Myron's techniques worked and he, that's what I'm saying. He's not doing something unconsensual. He's literally, I'm going to slap you all. <laughs> all right. There you go. Ta-da. Yeah. So you just described sexual assault. You just admit uh, to it, sweet. right? I mean, you said, I, no, did, I did I did lift her top and I commented on her breasts. Yeah. And that's, it was 100% consensual, Ethan. Because well, she, she, not according to her. Oh, see, here's the thing. I don't know. You, I'm, again, once again, it's fantastic that you pulled up a clip from that podcast. I don't know if you saw that number 59 there. But during the course of the podcast, that was 59 times she lied to you and I showed proof that she yeah, lied. You were very generous with those cap counters. Uh, no, no, no. I, I was, I was no. very thorough about it because I showed full text messages. It was a six well, Anyway, I'm podcast. talking about th th this is the point that matters, right? The assault part. Right. Let's focus yeah, on yeah. that. Okay. So you, you basically are confessing now and then that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts. She let me do it, Ethan. What was she? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Spoken like a real fed, bro. She yeah. let you do it. And, and yes. in what way did she index? Did she say you can lift my breasts? You can lift my top and make fun of my breasts? Even no, no, no. Walter, <laughs> let Myron talk. Don't, don't help. Right, right. 
Uh, it, uh, Ethan, um, let me ask you a question. Like, she you let like, you do it. What does that mean? It, like, when you and your woman are about to make love, do you sit there and go, Did you if I lift your shirt up? Are you talking about my wife that I've been oh, married to for 12 like, years? Whether it's your wife or a woman that you've looked at with in the past. She said Let's she was honest, pushing you. you off, dude. No, that's not true. That, that's what I'm She to didn't say that. She didn't say he, she was pushing him off. She never said she said no. She never said those things. The way she retells the story to H3H3 is to add an insinuation of that, but she never actually says that. She never says she didn't want it either. She never says it's assault. You, it's not true. Okay, it's but that, if that's what she said, then you agree it's reasonable for me to conclude that their essay did happen. That's not true, bro. But that's even, but you know what? You know what's true. interesting to me is that you you're, conf entire talk. Well, you're confessing. You're, you're confessing right no, now. No, you understand no, that, right? No, 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 Ethan. Am why I crazy? This no, man just confessed. No, because you're trying to listen. You're trying to hear something that didn't happen. I'm telling you, she literally, right? Because once again, you're playing clips and you're not playing the full thing. This girl asked Fresh to come to my house. He had to drive her from Miami Beach all the way to my spot, yeah. which is about 30 minutes away. Okay, FYI. She went out and hung out with me. We went to go get some food. Then she came back to my place. You ate with him. And then you went back to his place. Girls, what does that mean? Please tell me in what bubble eating with a guy who doesn't have female friends and then going back to his place doesn't mean sex. It'd be different if he was gay. It'd be different if he was a priest. It'd be different if they were friends. Myron doesn't have female friends. She was a guest on the podcast. She knows their views. What world is eating dinner with a man and then going back to his place? I've watched Sex in the City. I know what happens when you go back to a man's place, girl. It's totally different in a different context, but in this context, come on. Then I told her we kissed. Why do you think I told her to go get some fucking Listerine? Because I didn't like the word. And then she got Listerine so they could make out. She even admitted he said my breath smelled, so I went and washed out my mouth. Girl, shut the fuck up, girl. As much as you want to go on about what happened, the lead up does not indicate consent at any way. Ethan. I agree with Ethan, but in this context, Myron didn't do anything that she didn't stick around for him to do until he eventually kicked her out and then wanted him to pay for her Uber. A consent, brother. Yes. And then I say, yo, I don't like the way your breast smells. You need to go get some Listerine. She goes and gets the Listerine and it comes back. Literally. Okay? <laughs> then we're in bed kissing or whatever. And she says, oh, you jumped on me. That's not true. That's why she was reluctant to say, oh, I don't want to say sexual assault. Because she knows everything was consensual. She, everything that led up to it was consensual, bro. Now you're trying to make something of, of something that isn't true. Okay. Just for, okay. Just to review. <laughs> you say there was lots of leading up to this. Okay. Yes. That showed that she was uh, consenting. Then yes. you guys go to your bedroom and, we, and where um, you kiss her. She says that you jumped on her. You disagree, but then the part that's important, in my opinion, which is the essay part. You say you 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 say then and now that you lifted her top and commented on her breasts, and you don't deny that. Don't forget. She Walter, let him, let him answer. <laughs> I just I, I worded I took my time wording that. <laughs> she was wearing my clothes. She, she, she was wearing my she, clothes it, too. His clothes. She was wearing my clothes. Tell me why a girl would change your clothes. Uh, and, hold on. Uh, just just so you again just to just to Ooh. say I understand it. You let you let you lifted her top and commented on her breasts, right? You don't deny that. Yeah. Okay. My shirt. I lifted my actually I lifted my shirt. So if a girl's wearing your shirt, my you shirt. can assault her. No one said that. No, there's no assault. There's no assault. I'm trying to show how oh, okay. ridiculous your argument is trying to say that. Because you, you told her to do Listerine. It's like, bro, it's my shirt. She changed it to my clothes. She drank my Listerine. She was in my bed at two or three o'clock in the morning. She asked my friend to drive her to my spot. Was she on the, let me ask you this. Was she on the foot? Of, she said she was on the foot of the bed. <sighs> and then by your own video that you just showed, she I said, said she oh, scooted up a little bit. She came closer. Okay. She came closer. That doesn't sound like a. If I'm trying to hook up with a girl, she's like sitting uh, at the edge of the bed and just inches up a little bit. That sounds like someone who doesn't want to kiss me. She got close to me, bro. We were making out. Why do you think I told her to get Listerine? Ethan. Like, come on, man. Ethan. Come on, Ethan. We're all men here, right? Before you married your wife, did you smash? Maybe? Was it do I do premarital sex? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And when this happened, just take it back in time here. Not because of your business, but I'm just curious, bro. You were in the bed at some point with her, right? And did you magically just like say, hey, babe, can I see your tits? Or did you say, oh, shit, go ahead. It's happening right now. Hard as fuck. <laughs> Lift it up and then go for it. What happened? Um, not that. No, I did not just lift her top up and go for it. No. I said I need enthusiastic consent. <laughs> yeah. Well, said well, to me lifting your shirt up this much. That would mean you consent to me lifting. But it doesn't. This. It doesn't sound like you guys were laying in bed making out. It sounds like you were making awkward advances on her. Dude, she told you in the own th in your own thing that I told her to get the three. Correct? Why would I tell her to get the three? <laughs> can you, you can only smell someone's breath if you're making out with them. You probably did it just because you're being a dick and you felt rejected because she didn't want you. Oh, but she went and got the three, right? What? She Ethan, remember Amber Heard? Yeah. Yo, imagine if Johnny Depp didn't take her to court and fight for his life. So, and his so Amber Heard. Amber Heard. Lost the defamation case, therefore women be lying. No, no, no. They do be lying. Just prove it. They do be lying. They do be lying, bro. And how many other men? I think women who go on Fresh and Fit be liars, bro. They're probably just as trashy. No offense. The kind of women that are willing to go on Fresh and Fit, minus the ones who are like, like Kyla and stuff. But the kind of women that go on Fresh and Fit, come on, ladies. Your self esteem is in the gutter. Okay, you know it is because like, you got to pay me fucking thousands of billions of dollars to go on this fucking podcast. Like, that's what I'm saying. The kind of women that go on this podcast, I do think their self-esteem is in the gutter. And I do think they're some of the trashiest kinds of people in terms of categories that I've ever seen in my life. I do.
to have been in the same position where they've been lied about by women. Well, here's the thing. She didn't even say it. He said and that's why they hang out with Myron. Trash loves trash. Trash be hanging out with trash. But again, again, this, this is why. I, yeah, right. Of course. And again, I think it's fucked up that y'all went after her because she didn't say that. First of all, I thought that was fucked up. She had every right to, to um, describe a bad date that she had with you, which is what she was doing. And then I drew the conclusion based on what you said then and now that you lifted her top and commented on her lopsided breasts, as you said, um, and which is the definition. That is actually a quite literally sexual assault. No, it is not. It's not consensual. Criticism isn't illegal, bro. And you're lopsided. This is funny because if this was you, this position here, you know the big difference between us and you? We would say, you know what? We need all that. We, we need, need evidence. So she want to say no crazy shit like that. that. You are essaying somebody. Well, I mean, I'm not. I'm not taking this to the skin police. Color. Skin color. Skin color is the difference. No, no. You, you assume. You assume. You assume. Defamation would be considered. It's not defamation. It's literally not defamation, bro. It's a first-hand account. It's a. First, it's a girl saying, "This is what happened to me." How's that defamation? You said this was sexual. She said, "No, it's not that." And then you tried to make it that. That's crazy, bro. That's like I'm saying. I think that you basically bro, admit you that you did sexually assault her. That's how bad you fucked up on that one. Yeah, you and enemies came to our defense. Your friends, uh, Apple and Peach, come to our defense. Yeah. I mean, it, is, it is definitely my opinion that you sexually assaulted her. That hasn't changed. Well, sir, I would say the general consensus is that you're wrong, and you guys lost 10,000 subscribers that day after we did our episode. Bro, I lose 10,000 every day, bro. It's like a fucking game. Okay. Don't you know? I'm sure, you lose every day 10,000. I mean, we could Not every day, every month. Every single day, come on, man. Can you you guys, since nice you guys love Social Blade so much, why did y'all erase 120 million okay, videos right before coming on our show? We didn't, we didn't, what are you talking about? Bro, quite literally, look at Social Blade. You guys are, you guys removed like a ton of content from your channel. Yeah, we're kind of commercial, bro. We have our channels on Rumble. Wait, what, yeah. what did you remove? Yeah, we, we, yeah we, we cleaned up our channel, bro. Like, we're, we, we all of our videos on Rumble, man. Yeah. You cleaned it up. Yeah, yeah we cleaned up our channel. That's normal. Our, our shit that are, because we're not politically correct. We've made great changes. Oh. So, YouTube so, and why, yeah, why yesterday of all time? We didn't do it yesterday. Yeah. That's what it says here. No, we did it weeks ago, man. Yep. We did it about two weeks ago now at this point. We're putting all the good stuff. We're transparent about that. We said, yo, all of our videos on Rumble, go check it out. All the best parts on Rumble. Yeah, man. Tap into it. I mean, you know about YouTube. Okay, so you guys, you guys are going back and erasing uh, offensive and uh, things that you guys have said. I want to make sure. That's fair. I've done that too. And everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Everybody, yeah. Yeah. We were controversial, man. I mean, I don't know why you're. I mean, that's not the point. You're yeah, that's really normal. normal. No, I, too. I do that all the time. On that day after making that video, so all right. Well, well, you know what? It, then, then you know, I'm happy to say bye bye to a, to a assault apologist. You know what I mean? Like. Go enjoy fresh and fit, but I'll be honest. Oh there's zero overlap in our fan base. It's literally zero, and, and that's fine. I think that's why we got so many people watching. We got almost 20. K. Actually, we got 30,000 plus on our side. You watching. guys are. You guys usually erase your videos. Like you erased. Um, there was a video from yesterday. You guys uploaded and then erased. Which one was that? No, yesterday. What? No, we only did. I mean, we didn't even film yesterday. It didn't seem so I mean, weird. It was a video that was up and then it was deleted yesterday. Oh, was not. We did the Jake Shields interview and that's still up. Well, either way, man. Nice try, though. No deletion. It's normal. Yeah, mean, bro. But yeah, I mean, you we're, we're not, we're not from that. Like, yeah, we delete videos all the time because we're trying to be within the guidelines because our stuff is controversial. Okay. So we got to keep. There was a video up. where you were dressed, you were dressed up in some anti-Semitic outfit. Oh, here it we was go. Zerka, and you, it was up two days ago, and it was gone yesterday. Oh, it's Zerka. private now. What? It was never up on the YouTube channel ever. That is not never. true. That is not true. You're lying. That is lying. Never, I've okay. had the timestamp. Where? Show us. Okay. I have to. You got I got it. I still got the timestamp. Yeah, give me a sec. Well, I've got it all here too. Well, you guys want to talk? I mean, Myron, is it? Is the timing of going and erasing your anti-Semitism have anything to do with the timing of this conversation? He's just punching down right now. Anti-Semitism. Oh, are so you funny. denying being anti-Semite? He's just no, giving no, fresh and fit whatsoever. like mm. views. Are you? Do I hate myself? I wonder. Because I'm Arab. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why do you wonder? Why do you wonder that? I'm Arab, so do I hate myself as well? Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. I didn't ask if you're Islamophobic. Uh, you, you guys want to talk about this? So here, uh, here. You don't have to be a Muslim to be an Arab. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Are you okay? <laughs> Islamophobia. Like what? There are Christian Arabs. And there's Jewish right, Arabs, right, right, yeah, okay. So you say, so you say you're not anti-Semitic. So here's the clip that is this is the one Catholic, that he erased from the other Catholic day. Catholic Arabs. This is from YouTube. Uh, here it is, and then you can tell me if this is anti-Semitic or not. You're sitting with Ooh. Nick Fuentes, by the way, a known neo-Nazi. You you agree with um, that, right? He's a neo-Nazi. This is a bit. Uh, no, I, I fucking hate Fresh and Fit, bro. Oh, I hate Fresh and Fit. He's he has a whole account that he communicates with you with called Autumn Groiper or something. Like he literally, he literally is a self-described oh, Groiper. Kids love Hitler. Kids love Hitler. Fresh, is, what does that fresh and fit are like, gross. What's your, what's your point here? You're taking one clip. No, they're just, gross. taking sound bites and trying to run with the narrative. You're fantastic at doing that. We've bumped you a bunch of times trying to do that. What's your problem with Nick? Right. Okay. He's a, he's a great uh, He's guy. racist, nothing, bro. Uh, nice about him. Nick Fuentes is oh, trash. He's fucking gone. He's anti Semite. What the? Myron got the So, at this point, what is this you're dressed up as? And what does 6 million died refer to? I can't see what you're showing. Oh, really? I can't see it. It's you dressed in a long black beard and a black top hat and a suit. Um, and you're, you're talking, yeah. So, so what is it you're dressed up as here? You know what? I'm really glad that you brought that up, Ethan. You know what I have here? <laughs> Viking hat? Mexican hat? Are you, anti are you comparing wearing up? Oh, my God, bro. 
Okay, bro, we, we can actually talk. Uh, we don't need to see your whole wardrobe. But that's very sassy and zesty no, 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 of you no, no, to have a... No, 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 because here's the thing, friend. Because I love when you guys do bro, this. Oh, because God. You're oh go my God. Take one clip. Let me just show you the clips, man. You're getting so okay. emotional. No, 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 because, because this is fantastic. I knew you would do this. I knew okay. you would do okay. this. All right. And here's the thing. I make fun of everybody. I got hats for every single race, every single religion. Okay. Yeah, it's cringe, bro. I, I have more. Would you like to see it? Dude, you can show whatever you want. I make fun of everybody, every yeah, race. I'm not. You need to stop doing that. I make jokes on everybody, bro. You knew I would pull. You were. You knew I would pull the videos you erased, right? That's fantastic, man. You could pull whatever you want. You Everything did erase it though. Just to be clear. That we don't hide anything. All okay, let's, let's continue. Let's continue. I understand so what your point is. Let's continue. So you say so you're dressed as a Jewish guy and you start saying six million died. What is that about? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean, hey, dude, if you want to debate on that, you could go ahead and obviously have that discussion with Nick. Oh, but again, Nick, oh! I thought he was a normal, upstanding dude. No, he's, he's a great He's a Holocaust man. historian. He's a great dude. Pay attention. If you defend Fresh and Fit, if you defend Nick Fuentes, if you say positive things about these people, I'm paying attention to you. I see you. I see you saying nice things about these people. I'm taking note. Dorian? <laughs> Yeah, Look, funny, I, right? Go ahead, let's finish this. No, 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 no. Myron Stein is here. Anybody need a loan, by the way? I have to phrase, but I got I can hook y'all up. Oh, 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 you know what's the most awkward part of the show? That's anti-Semitic too. That's anti-Semitic too. Yeah, yeah, what'd you say, bro? But okay, I understand. You make fun of everybody, so we can let this clip go. You know, I think I got a clip of you making anti-Semitic comments about Ben Shapiro, if I'm not mistaken. If we want to go down this road, do you, do you, that was fucked up. Is that it okay was for me up. to say the N-word? Anti-Semitic comments on on Ben Shapiro. Is it okay for me to say the N-word? Ethan, you disabled our screen sharing. You uh. Or whatever, because if you want to go down this road, that's cool, bro. Wait, hold on a sec. What happened, Walter? Are, are you guys having a hard time seeing the video feed? Uh, just to, just sorry to pause the debate for a second, but I do want to fix that so you guys can see. I mean, this isn't really even a debate. It's him trying to reach. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to argue with you. I, I'm just wondering if you, if you need me to fix it's something. It's a technical I'm question. Trying to, trying to help. Yeah, it's just a technical question. Are, are yeah. you not able to see Ethan anymore? We, we no. can't see Ethan right now. Yeah. You can't oh. see Ethan? Okay, um, one second. Let me see if I turn off and on my video. We can see Ethan now, but we can't share our screen to show our videos. Um, If you want to send us links, I can post stuff up. Oh, if you want the ability to screen share here, I think. I just did that, so theoretically you can screen share it now as well. Yeah, but why take it off in the first place? It's kind of weird. Let's show that. Oh, the tech. This is coconut. I, I know. I know. It, everything is a conspiracy, but uh, it just it's off by default. I just turned it on. All right, guys. Yeah, it was the matrix. Exactly. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's continue. Let's continue, okay. shall we? Oh, hold on. Do you want to show the anti-Semitic clip of you talking about Ben Shapiro? But can I, can I say the N-word? Myron, can I say the N-word? No. Oh, my God. Is it appropriate for a white person to say the N-word? Wow, Ethan's about to be like, I'm Jewish, so I can make anti-Semitic remarks. What he said about Ben Shapiro was fucked up. He said that if there's another Holocaust, he hopes Ben Shapiro is on the first train out. That is the most fucked up shit. That's a fucked up. That's fucked up. As a content creator, that's that's super fucked up. Okay, that's not okay. You're going in. You can say whatever you want. What word? Walter, is it appropriate for a white person to say the N word? No, no. What word is that? I, I'm sorry. Coconut sorry in my head. What word is that? <laughs> Why are you acting like silly? Like you don't know what oh, I'm talking bro, about? Bro. Remember, coconut for brains. What word is that? Can, can you just tell me real quick? Oh, oh is what that is what that? happens when I'm making a point that you know oh, is not easy no, for you to no, answer? No. You go, oh, I can't hear you. I got coconuts for brains. What's that word, Ethan? You, you're so smart, bro. What's the word? Just real quick. What's the word? Uh, you don't play the video. Oh, oh no, I got, I got to get the clip. I have to. The word, uh, Ethan. Come on, you're smart, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm waiting. I mean, look, bro, you can say it if, if you want. guys want to play videos of me saying the N word, I'm gonna, we, we can't show that, but I know that I have done it. That's actually, what you're saying. Yeah, you did, and you made a bunch of racial comments too, saying the N bomb all over the place. I actually, so, then, yeah. I, if you're gonna call me racist, bro, we're both racist together then in that case. <laughs> well, no, not quite. Um, I thought you guys were gonna play the Ben Shapiro clip. Yeah, let me get it real quick, real quick. By the way, but I don't, uh, I don't think it matters because I'm a Jewish man talking about another Jewish man. Obviously, different rules apply there. But let me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I mean, you understand that. You say the N word all the time, and, no, and obviously, that's, that's okay for you to do. It. It's, it's not racist if you say it then. It is racist if I say it. So okay, so so you're racist too, then I guess. In those moments, I definitely had moments of, of racist behavior for sure. Okay, so, and so you're anti-Semitic. So we're, we're on the same level, then I guess we're both racist. Bro, let me just let me just show you this point. You're obfuscating so hard. Let's just let's just focus. Okay, what do you want to focus? Okay, so the clip I showed you, you're dressed up as a uh, like a Hasidic Jew talking about the six million died in the Holocaust, but you make fun of everyone, so that's fine. Honestly, I feel like Fresh and Fit and Ethan deserve each other a little bit. I think Ethan's better, but man, they really deserve each other. They're just so immature. That's why they're beating each other up. Look, I bet their views are popping, bro. I bet this is so good for the algorithm. I just feel like it's so virtue signaling for both of them. And this this, it, this almost feels like a collab where Ethan's like, hey, Fresh and Fit, you guys want to make some money together? Let's fucking debate. That's what this feels like. Even though I know that's not what happened, it does feel that way. You know what I mean? So let yeah. me go to some of the tweets you made. Nick, sure. Nick Fuentes is a nice person. He was a pleasure to have on the show. Said Pearl. Gross. They hate Nick because he criticizes Val problems in American Gross. foreign policy and them boys. Nick Can you sucks. Tell me what them boys. Myron means? sucks. Fresh and uh, fit so, sucks. I mean, you, you want to go into this realm? <laughs> sure. Yeah, of course. I asked you, didn't I? He has very valid critiques of American foreign policy when it comes to Israel. <clears throat> no. So what does them boys mean? <clears throat> whatever, you want, whatever you want to mean. Well, you know what it means. Oh, well, what, so, what does it mean when you say it? It
that okay coconuts i'm living in a reality where we're all sharing the same you you trying to create so this like weird know, situation where we don't we pretend that we don't know what anything means and we just pretend we have coconuts in our brain before bro it's guys done. let's just try to focus and do a point so we can actually talk about something sure um I, I, uh, so I mean, keep, continue with the in terms of philosophy and introspection don't i always say like how you treat your enemies tells me more about yourself again the fact that ethan is willing to have this and platform fresh and fit but not platform ab and preach says something very clear to me the fact that anyone would say Myron is a good person or that, oh, like they're pretty good guys or say anything positive about him is very interesting. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is them boys stupid. Okay, let's go. Uh, the Bolsheviks <laughs> killed millions of Russians. Who's going to tell them they were them boys? Yep. That's uh, a fact. Yeah, that's a f and then you say, this one is really interesting. You say the movie Europa is the yep. most based documentary. Yep. Can I read a synopsis of that, of that film? We're going to read it from Wikipedia, one of the bot forums. Well, t well tell me if you think this is inaccurate. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm uh, grabbing it. What was the point of this? Um, what was the whole point of this interaction yeah, except Wikipedia, to make money off each other? If you have a better place to describe it, that's fine. They might as well be fucking, <laughs> bro. Wikipedia, the Wikipedia lies about everything. Hell, they even make you look crazy on there, bro. You're well, Wikipedia. it's all true. It's all true what they say. I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, I, here, here's, the, here's the synopsis of the film, and then correct me where correct it where it's wrong. The film yeah. promotes various anti-Semitic conspiracies claiming that communism was created by Jews with the goal of total world domination, and that Jews control the world's money supply and are conspiring to engineer the downfall of white race by encouraging immigration and interracial relationships. It also engages historical revisionism to claim that Jews started World War One and II as part of a plot to establish Israel by provoking the Nazis into acting in self-defense. The film also claims that Jews caused Germany to defeat in World War I, which is commonly uh, referred to as the stab in the back myth that Adolf yep. Hitler was fighting against a global Jewish plot. You called that movie what? Uh, based, most based. Yeah. It's very based. It is very based. And I so, mean, is it 100% accurate? No. Most documentaries aren't. There's always an so error. Part, okay, okay, all right. I'll say it's too based. It's not, yeah, it's, it's not. Based, so, but you guys yeah. don't have a problem with the description? I mean, dude, I mean, what'd you read that, bro? You read that from Wikipedia, bro? Tell me, you watch the movie, tell me if it's accurate. Wait, you watch it, Ethan? Did you watch no, it? No, I did not watch some fringe neo-Nazi documentary, bro. We can't even have a conversation, bro. Then we can't even talk about that, bro. Is this accurate? What? Dude, you guys are such more... Like, is this accurate? Is this accurate? Come on. Is this accurate? We're going to talk about this, man. You didn't even watch it. Come on, bro. You that they said the sky was green in there, and you wouldn't even know. Is this description accurate? We don't know. That's why I'm asking you, Walter. Jesus Christ, man. Wikipedia. What do you know? What do you know? I'm... How about, how about you so watch it? Walter, you've seen... So, come back hold on, let me, uh, hold on. Let me talk to Cocoa Butter. Or Coconuts. Um, Coconut, co coconuts, right. um, you've seen this video, cor this movie, correct? I've seen everything. <sighs> Bro, why, why, why are we here? Are we doing a, Are we going to talk or are we going to be silly? I thought we had a big one on. I don't know. What is it? Have you seen this movie? Have you seen this movie, uh, Walter? I've seen everything. Okay. Was the... Ethan, look. You said it's based, so I'm assuming you, you saw it. Is the, is the description accurate? Is the description accurate? Bro. To be honest, that's Wikipedia. I don't know what's accurate on there. <laughs> like, what, what do you want me to I know? read it to you. I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? Information Bro. entered oh. your brain. It's time to process <laughs> it. Dude, whole story I watched when I was a kid. Why can't y'all? Why can't y'all answer if it's accurate? Dude, one, dude, one like a couple months ago. I think I don't remember shit. Do we need to go one by one here? Um, okay, Ethan, Ethan, communism Ethan, was created Ethan. by Jews with the goal of world domination. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I don't know. Ethan. This is what the like bigger this is a guy who captures a bigger YouTube audience. Just pay attention. I know we're a niche audience over here, but just like think about it. They have pretty big audiences. The world is really a reflection of us as a whole, y'all. This the, how many views has it got right now? This has forty five thousand live viewers. If you didn't watch the movie, then we can't have a coherent discussion on it. You didn't even watch it, bro. Ooh, so nice reading avoidance. the Wikipedia Ooh. thing asking us if it's accurate. I told you at the beginning, not all of it is 100% accurate, but mm -hmm. it is accurate about a lot of things. Which parts were inaccurate and which parts, you know what I mean? Because I just you, read the description. It's, like eight, it's an eight hour long movie. You do realize that, right? Damn. Whoa. That's a lot. That's a big commitment to being a, a fucking Jew hater. You invested uh, a lot of time into hating Jews, brother. Sit down for eight hours and watch that. Should we watch it on our uh, Discord one, and dismantle it? Whatsoever. Eight hours? Uh, okay. Well, we're working on that. We're, we're working on That's, trying to absolve you shit, that, bro, we're having sucks. a hard time. Business partners are Jews. We work with Jews. We don't have an issue with Jews whatsoever. Right. We, are we just love movies uh, that... Uh, we are critical of other things that might not... And here's the thing. We're critical of people that aren't even Jewish a lot of the times. Okay, so so, so critical of a bunch of things. Just to wrap, well, just to just to wrap this up uh, on the movie Europa, of Europa. which the narrative is basically tons of conspiracy theories about Jewish people, uh, uh, a lot which are echoed by uh, Adolf Hitler and used as cause to kill Jews. 
you described that documentary as Europa is the most based documentary. Ugh. Yes, and the reason why I call it based, Horrible Ethan, people. is because it covers Just historical trash. facts that are hidden from American like what classes. Like well, what? Well, watch the documentary, and we can have a Why discussion. Why can't you tell me? There's a bunch of tell things. Me what, uh, tell me what, Walter. Is this Ethan Myron? platforming can we my anthropologist? We can't have a coherent conversation. Really? You, you can't have a coherent conversation because you can't fucking talk about it because you know you'll look anti-Semitic as fuck if you even describe one thing it's about. Well, you watch the movie, and then you can have a discussion on it. Oh, my God. You guys hate Jews right so now. much. Because you tried, you tried to reach with the anti-Semitic thing, saying that you were. This is not a reach, my friend. A bunch of things. That was a reach. Then me saying that the movie is based. There's a bunch of other historical facts in there, right? Like how the Federal Reserve came into play, etc. So do you need to learn about the Federal Reserve through a ne eight-hour neo-Nazi fucking uh, damn <laughs> propaganda film? What do you mean? You could, there's lots of books about that. It would help. Again, bro. It would help. I, All right. So I any, like anyway, you you guys say that it's most angle. based, but you refuse to tell me what it's about. Or Dude. if the description's accurate. Dude, once again. I told you, you not everything is accurate in the film. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. What's not accurate? Watch the movie, bro. Walter, you are silly. You're a silly boy, Walter. You're a silly, Obviously goofy not, guy. Be we're both silly together, my friend. That's right. One of us is fucking, we're, we're, you know what I mean? One of us hating Jews and being silly. See, oh, you keep love trying to say Hitler. that, that you keep trying to say that we hate Jews. We don't hate Jews. Ethan, do you have any we, black just love, we just love Hitler. Ethan, do you have any black friends? What? Who's, we never wait. said we love Hitler either. Wait, hold You're on. words in our mouth. You love Hitler? No, I'm being silly. Ah. I, you didn't say that, but you said, but you did say that. Well, anyway, look, go look, ahead, look. Walter. Go ahead. No, no, you love Hitler. Ethan, you didn't just say that, did you? You love Hitler? Yes, Damn. Walter. You got me. That's, that's, that's so crazy. Big, Walter, oh my God, bro. You just got me so good. I've been making a sound bite like you guys do. Oh my God, you guys. Bro, you got me so good. It's almost like I it's almost like I confessed to watching an eight hour fucking documentary about Jewish uh, conspiracy Bro. theories and calling it base. I watch one of my hobbies. I like to watch World War II films. I like to watch World War One films. I like to watch documentaries in general. I enjoy learning history. I enjoy, okay, learning. Mm -hmm. I watch the history channel. I one of my favorite YouTube channels is Nutty History. I like to watch that as well. Nutty. Six million so, yeah. Jews died is a myth. That's nutty. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? How many? I mean, the, the number is like six million, right? I mean, it's changed a bunch of times. I mean, you tell us. I hate humans. I love them. I hate them. I love them. I hate them. I really, I hate this brain rot. It makes me want to die. Like, it's such brain rot. Everybody in this, everyone, this whole thing is brain rot. What a bubble. What a fucking bunch of twos, bro. It's such a bubble and I love it. And humans are so wonderful. And oh my gosh, how beautiful. And I'm a part of this amazing evolved species who's come to this. We're so amazing. But man, the brain rot is so bad, guys. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I don't know your history. You don't know my history? What like what does that mean? Oh. How many? I mean, I, I answered already. You said well, like. I don't know. Well, I, uh, that knowing the, you want me to give you the precise number of people that died in the Holocaust? Yeah. You know, many, uh, do you think that's possible? Oh. Okay. So, wait, so your guys' bar is really no. fucking weird. You want so if no. I can't give you the exact amount of people that died in the Holocaust, then I don't know what I'm talking about. No. That's literally like impossible to know. Yeah, six million people. We don't know. Either. People? We don't know oh, either. But you have an opinion about it clearly. We don't, know. we don't know either, bro. Just saying. It's about six million, though. I'm I'm comfortable saying that. Or okay. more. Okay. Well, so you don't know exactly. We don't either. We'll take your word for it. Well, I know close enough. It's six million. All right. We'll and take your word for it, bro. Thank you. And so, how many do you think died in the Holocaust? How many Jewish people? Whatever you think, man. What do we think? We think too. So you guys believe six million Jews died in the Holocaust? <laughs> Whatever you think, brother. You guys really like are like the stream, guys. Like the stream. Incredible. You both are uh, just you're getting sweet. so emotional. Do you know you guys are getting so emotional and you close off on me? Emotional? I don't want you to close off on me. Like I want you just to answer the question. You're, you guys are doing like um, you guys close crush down, and I just want to know if you, how many. I know you have an opinion. Why are you afraid to say it? Opinion. It's you, all, you try to, you try to why are you afraid to answer the question, you man? I wish you guys wouldn't be so cowardly with your opinions. You did not do your stand, homework for this debate, my friend. Stand on your not, fucking beliefs, brother. You did, not, you did not do your research. Okay, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? You try to say we're anti-Semitic. That was a fail. Try to say you had a self it. Like, I don't have a bunch of other outfits here. That was a fail. No, you watched eight-hour movie, which I didn't watch at all, but I want to kind of argue, ask you questions about, but I didn't watch. I'm going to read a Wikipedia synopsis and say that this is true. I told which you that. Which you have not refuted at all. You won't even tell me what is in it or what's it about because you know it will make you sound crazy. Why won't you just answer the question how many Jews died in the Holocaust? Why don't you watch it? How about you watch it, man? We can have a discussion it about it. just told us what it was. So, hey, we'll take your word for it. Yeah, man. By oh, the way. You guys are awesome. By the way, Ethan. You guys are uh, so cowardly. Like, at least, if you're going to believe shit, at least stand on it. You guys are being pussies. Like, you guys are able, such cowards. I can't, I'm surprised you guys are such cowards. Like, you know, I'll answer any questions you guys have, and so far I have. I'm not here, like, pussyfooting around, like, oh. Why is Myron so thin, bro? Myron be thin as hell, bro. You notice that?
Walter's chubby as usual, but he's so cute. He's just a sweet little boy. Ooh, I, I guess I don't know. I oh, don't know. I, hmm. you just, you Whatever you think. That's what. Fun. That's like emotional, lame, closed down. Like you guys are being babies. Answer the questions I ask. For you. I've answered every question you guys have asked me. Uh, Great. Us too. God, I hope they make a lot of money off this. Both of them are just doing this for money. This is what I'm telling you. These are YouTubers who are, Ethan is bored and they're just doing this for money. I'm dead serious. There's no way Fresh and Fit and Ethan are not just thinking, oh, this is a great cash grab. Our audiences will fight against each other. We'll get super chats. This is going to be great. I bet they're both killing it for views right now. How many people are watching Fresh and Fit right now? Okay, how many Jews died in the Holocaust, Walter? How many Jews died in the Holocaust? How many Jews died in the Holocaust, Walter? Whatever you said, bro. Yeah, whatever That's you said. 17,000 people are watching Fresh and Fit right now. An answer. Dude, I don't know. Whatever you said, I believe you. You are more worse than I am, my friend. All right, well, Europa's base. Let's not forget. Okay, so so you guys are not anti-Semitic. I think we've pretty thoroughly debunked that claim. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say. How, how, how are we anti-Semitic? Break it down for us. Tell us how we're anti-Semitic to make that claim. How, how many Jews died in the Holocaust? You we told don't. us. We're going off you. what you said. Okay. You guys don't want to have a serious conversation about it. Okay. So uh, how are we anti-Semitic now? Uh, all right. Let's, let's move don't on. Don't get me wrong. I love the drama and the tea. But it's like so dishonest. Like Ethan is being incredibly dishonest right now. Not that Ethan does isn't dishonest a lot of the time, but damn, he's Nico level dishonest right now. He's being Myron at Fresh and Fit level dishonest right now. He really is. It's kind of fucked up to see. Ethan's just worse and worse every day, man. Every day this man get worse and worse. God, he burns the bridges with all the good people, and all he has left is Myron, Fresh and Fit. <laughs> To um, um, making accusations, I can't back it up. No, I, it's been thoroughly proven. You guys are anti-Semitic, but like I'm not. I, there's no point in like running in circles, being like prove it, and then you guys being like I don't know. Let me ask this, Ethan. You do realize, right? Because you want to talk about us bringing Nick Fuentes on the show. You do realize, like two days later, we brought Dave Rubin on, right? Well, Dave Rubin is one of the most self-hating, fucking contradictory you know, morons. Jewish? No, no, no. The point I'm trying to make here is that did we Dave brought... Rubin address what Nick Fuentes? Come on, bro. It's not about that. I'm telling How you. How many Jews died, Nick brother? On, we brought Nick Fuentes on. Then <laughs> we brought Dave Rubin on. Is Dave Rubin a Holocaust uh, uh, historian? No, but or he's he just a, some random dude. Zionist? He's a Zionist. Okay. And that's fine. But we like to bring people on of different thought processes and different opinions. Okay. So just because we brought Nick on doesn't mean Dave we're Rubin, king of the on. Jews, baby. He I came to clear it all too. up. We bring people on with different perspectives. Matter of fact, we're going to bring Laura Loomer on uh, this week. So we bring That's people awesome. on with different perspectives, dude. You're trying to sit here and say that we're anti-Semitic, but we open our platform to Jews all the time. So nice try. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'm I mean, cool. how, we're on a podcast with you and you're Jewish. Like, come on, man. Wait, yeah. Fresh and fit do look worse here. I agree with you, Lakara. But Ethan is being incredibly, this is such a cash grab from Ethan, and he's willing to platform them, horrible people. He's literally willing to platform the worst people to give them more clout and more status when they're already demonetized from YouTube. You know what I'm saying? But he won't talk to ABBA and Preach. Cool. Cool. As he says, ABBA and Preach slash H3 with Britney as moderator live when? Ethan could never. Ethan could never actually talk to Ab and Preach because he knows they're actually principled people. And they really are. Like, I'm not just trying to suck their dicks. Like, they genuinely are principled. Fresh and fit aren't. So why would Ethan platform them? Don't you think it's incredibly dishonest for Ethan to platform grape apologists that he thinks sexually assaulted a woman and he's bringing them on their show? E Abba, maybe, like, joke? No. Okay, Abba's worst crime is that he joked about even though he didn't, they're saying he joked and giggled about assault victims. They're accusing Myron of assaulting a woman. So they won't talk to Abba and preach because they made a joke, but they'll talk to Abba or they'll talk to Fresh and Fit who they are accusing of assaulting a woman. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. <laughs> well, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Whatever. We don't need to talk about because it it's a it's a road to nowhere. But no, no, because, because you doing the show no, with no, me no, is no, proof no, that you're no, not anti-Semitic. Very good. You, you tried, right? So you, you, you okay, fair enough. Debunk. Debunk. You guys debunked it. Anti-Semitic, and yes. you're getting debunked right now. If you, it's, it's all been really debunked. Anti we do a collab with you. Okay. All right. Let's let's move on to the next topic, and then it's all been debunked. Go ahead, Walter. You you have a question. So we talk about dating, 
in today's society, you know, mm-hmm. women. Um, but in this case, you're married, bro. Good job on that. That is a compliment to you because obviously speaking, getting married nowadays is not easy. Granted, how do you get to make your wife happy? How do you maintain a good relationship? I want to hear your opinion on this. How do you maintain a good relationship oh. with your wife? Uh, it's about maintaining uh, like mutual respect, listening, good communication, and uh, genuine encouragement. I think being caring about the things that they care about and supporting them and treating them like equals, I think, is uh, the paramount uh, qualities in maintaining a good, healthy relationship. That's good. Now, question. Let's say I'm a young, young guy, like 21, getting into the world. How would I get a girlfriend or a wife, you would say? What? <laughs> no, no, I want to opinion, bro, because obviously... I don't know. I don't, what the fuck do you... I don't know. I, I don't care. But hold on. You criticize us about our opinions. But I just want to hear your opinion, bro. I, I don't know. I don't care, and I don't know. Oh, so now, now you, you don't know. know. All of a sudden, you don't how know. How are a 21 year old supposed to meet a girl? I mean, who? what the fuck are we talking about? So how can you criticize us? Go, about okay, how about this? Go into a crowd and talk to a girl. I mean, go to, go to, uh, go to a friend's party and talk to a girl. There. Is that it? Do you want me to list every pers- possible way that people can interact, Walter? What is your point? You can meet at a bar. You can meet at a train station. You can meet at a, a, a restaurant. You can meet at uh, Walter's house. You can meet Walter's mom. She's a great lady right here. You can uh, meet at. Uh, actually, I don't know anything about your mom. She might be. She might be bad, but I doubt it. I think she's very sweet based on what I know about you. You can meet at, at the beach. You can meet at the uh, at the ice cream parlor. You can meet at the mall. You can meet it. You can meet in an air in an airplane. You can meet in a blimp. You can meet in a. Do you, do you want me to keep going on, Walter? Or is this enough? You got it, bro. You got it. Okay. That was a good answer. Okay, good. All right. So we talked about. That's, that's whoa. That's the end of your fucking questioning. What did no, you no, just because, do? Right, there just shows. What? Continue, bro. Wait, no, no, don't continue. What was your point? <laughs> no, you criticize us about our talking points, but yet you yourself have no, solution, no solution to the problem. So it's almost like oh, because uh, our talking points. Oh, because because I didn't have a canned response to how twenty-one year old men are supposed to meet women. That's crazy. I mean, it's not about a canned response. I mean, you're hypercritical on how we approach modern dating and how to deal. <laughs> That, and <laughs> your response isn't really um, conducive to being successful in the dating marketplace nowadays, which I thought that's what I've the done debate. Great. I should have known that you would try to do some stuff like this, pulling this out, you know, so oh, talk, Andrew Tate, anti-Semitism, blah, blah, blah. Yes. You, Charleston, what Charleston, what do you think right? this conversation would be about? Which I'm actually great and happy because this debate has exposed a lot of criticism that we've gotten from other creators, so we've been able to debunk it on your platform, which we appreciate. Yes. True. You, um, Good you job, Ethan. the anti-Semitism charges, my friend. Let me ask you this. Oh, yeah. talking, you, let's go you back to... You can't explain how we're anti-Semitic. You're right. I have no possible explanation. Um, 21-year-old men, they're out trying to meet women. How do we avoid, how does these young men avoid meeting thoughts, whatever that is? That's your question? Yes. How do they avoid meeting, when you say thoughts, let me be clear about this. Are we talking about like promiscuous women? I guess that's what it means, right? I mean, that's okay. something like that, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, there's, you just got to look for the warning signs. Right. And there's, there's a many. bunch of them. There's many. Can you, can you list some? I mean, there's a bunch, but here's the thing. It's not like, you know, it's a tell like, oh, she has these signs. She's definitely a thought. You know, there's always going to be exceptions to the rule, but all you can do is watch behavior over a prolonged period of time, which is why we're big on, you know, bending a girl for at least six months to a year. I agree, but about men like Myron. I also agree with thoughts, but like, not really, depending on what you mean by that. But like, look at Myron. Look at all the signs. Don't involve yourself with Myron. Don't involve yourself with cheaters. Don't involve yourself with people that lie. Don't involve yourselves that think women are less smart than men. Don't involve yourselves with people like stop seeking the validation from men that are never going to give it to you and stop seeking validation from a world that's never going to give it to you. Seek validation within through principle. Be a principled person. Have values. Right. Um, just watching behavior, but having a lot of guy friends, liking the party, uh, former drug use, uh, current drug use, alcoholic, um, former alcoholic, um, being involved in certain professions where she has to display sexuality to make money. With strippers, OnlyFans, promiscuous, uh, porn star, promiscuous, model girl. Um, she, you know, was in a, a sorority that likes to party. She went to party college. Um, she was uh, in the military. You know, she was in uh, job fields that were uh, where she was surrounded by men. Hmm. Uh, just a bunch of things that she okay. didn't have a problem. Right. So uh, regarding there's, regarding there's a, million, there's a million things. Okay. Regarding showing the body and all this kinds of stuff. Coconuts, and I mean there's no disrespect to her because I don't know anything about her, but just to, to what you say, is your girlfriend a thought? Who? Your girlfriend. Who? Wait, what? Your girlfriend? Which, Which one? <laughs> Who? The one that you're like seriously involved with? Daisy? Oh, Daisy? She's cool. Yeah, she's your girlfriend. Is she a thought? Who said that? Um, I, Ethan, is so Ethan is so, so dumb. Ethan is so dumb. You don't know anything. Bro, you... <laughs> Who oh, did Ethan's research? See the feed. She, she's showing up and she's in bikinis. She's she's surround. She does like fitness stuff where she's surrounded by. You guys know about the, the like uh, pageant business with Yo, like, the guys in the back fit. and stuff. So she's doing all that. Here's a picture of her ass um, at the gym. Mm-hmm. She's wearing really tight yoga pants. Uh, really sure. suggestive. Is she a thought? Is this a problem? She do whatever she wants to do. Oh, okay. That's nice. So Ethan, uh, let me. Uh, you might. You might not. Well, here's the thing. He doesn't get it. Oh. Um, Ethan, we see multiple women at the same time. We're, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. You guys both have girlfriends and you love them, and I think that's special. 
Bro, and, I, and I don't know why you guys have to back yourself. You're research, bro. Ethan, you, you really did a bad Dude, job here, man. Bro, you don't know that at all. God Myron, damn it. I just have to say, don't you think it's a little... Well, go ahead and play... Let me play you this clip, and then... Coconuts, you say that it's totally fine, but here is uh, a clip of you talking about it. Well, if you're in a serious committed relationship with a guy, and you have, you know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet, you know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is cheating. She's posting pictures like that? Bro, it's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So I don't when like you that. Post pictures, it's okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. When you post pictures of Ethan doesn't get it. They fuck these women. They don't date these women. Like, they don't prioritize these women they're not gonna marry these women they just fuck them and use them and like why doesn't Ethan get it who's is olivia doing his research again man olivia's so bad at her job bro so oh, on the internet there's Ethan, 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 the purpose of getting and or attention oh, let the clip in. Is sexualizing yourself know, with the and now he's using this girl like girl and it's not traditional it's it's not. Not. It's even if you're not a hoe Myron, look, the, titties out. Hoe. the titties out on that top left go scroll up a little bit chris look at this this is haram oh yeah that's your girlfriend Myron. you call you called her a hoe you called mm -hmm. your, yeah, you called her a hoe, I believe was the terminology. Yeah, and I said, again, and I'm really glad that you brought this up, because I knew you were going to bring this up. Thank I knew you were going to bring this up. And, and I'm, really, I'm really, see, you're, you're very predictable, my friend. Bro, just talk. You keep posturing. No, 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 because, because we all cook you, man. This is, this is why you've been, the, the, right. this is what you've been ducking us for Stay years. On with it, dude. Come on. In the first clip, when I said you're in a long-term committed relationship, right, mm -hmm. and have photos of yourself like that, it is cheating. Well, guess what? Since she's been my girl, guess what's on her profile? It's hidden. It's private. She doesn't have those pictures up. So okay? you're saying things that happened in the past deleted. don't matter. She deleted, she deleted thousands of people that used to follow her. So, right? so things in the past. Important. So if she's if she's things happened in the past and she's moved on and then that stuff doesn't matter anymore. Well, it's not about that. It's about how does she acquiesce to you? Does she get into your frame once you get with her? Okay? So with the thing with Fresh, because you reached there, that's not his well, main role. Well, Fresh said, uh, like play the girl. sound, Zach. What was it? She's posting pictures like that? Bro. It's a wrap, man, for you. It's you said it's a wrap. Oh, out of no, it's, it's not. No, it's, it's a wrap. You're going to expose me, right, bro? You obviously don't know what I do, bro. This is like, this is literally why I say you're not uh, prepared because obviously you don't watch our channel. You don't know how we move. And it's funny because we get pussy, bro. You don't. So it's, it's like, bro, like, what are you trying to say here, bro? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, like, I am. I, you're just that's what I mean. There are women who want to be with Fresh and Fit. Just remember that. There are women who want to be with Charles Manson. Women. Ain't shit, bro. <laughs> Congratulating me on being married, my, uh, Walter. What the heck? Bro. It's a wrap. It's so, a wrap. I, no, like well, hold was, on. Pick bro. a lane. Am I? Do you get pussy and I'm mad about it, or are you happy I'm married? You're trying to put us, expose us. We don't know how we move. I said congrats to you because that's what you could do with one girl. It's fine. Myron, uh, our coconuts, um, do you usually take your um, side girls to uh, meet your mom and buy her presents for her birthday? See what it is. Oh, video. She bought her really a wonderful mother's gift. Uh -oh. Seems serious. Ethan, if you watch this is your girlfriend. Who, by the way, more power to her. She Ethan. seems successful, Ethan. and Ethan. God bless her for getting out there and shaking her body. Yeah, but, okay, Wolf is saying it's a fair question. His girlfriend, by his own terms, is a thought. Yeah, but, like, a lot of these guys are hypocrites. That's what I'm saying. Why are you going to a guy who you think sexually assaulted a woman, and you're like, oh, did you lie about your girlfriend being a thought? It makes no sense for Ethan to Do you get what I'm saying? But yeah, like lots of guys introduce women to their moms, bro. I don't know how, you know what I mean? And also lots of men are hypocrites. How many Republicans are fucking guys right now? How many Republicans are married with wives and are fucking men? Yeah, and? Like you act like people, the, we're in a different era. In this era, nobody gives a fuck what you say. Pay attention to actions. Nobody gives a fuck what you say. Because if Andrew Tate can be justified, no matter how many times he said it himself, that he trafficked women, who cares? At the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about the hypocrisy. If Fresh and Fit are never going to admit that Andrew Tate trafficked those women, whether he's found guilty or not, if you're never, do you know what I'm saying? Like, why are we pretend, hello? What are we even having this conversation? Are showing our body. And I think that, um, I think women, I think it's fantastic that women feel empowered. I think it sucks <laughs> that you. You don't take your side chick to meet your mom. You've never met enough. You know how many fuck boys introduce women to their mothers? Hello? Do you, have you seen Love is Blind? Lots of people, lots of fuckboys take their side chicks. Lots of people do a lot of really shitty things. Okay? I don't know about you, but not everybody respects their mama enough not to bring a loser home. Okay? Damn, even I did it twice. But to be fair, they weren't side chicks. But even so, I know people. You guys wrap yourselves into pretzels and it just and then now now that you guys have actually entered relationships, which hasn't happened until recently, you have to like you're getting called out by your own fans. You're having to justify you just love the girl and you want to be in a, in a relationship. And in the real world isn't black and white like you guys try to imagine it is. And oh, well, uh, but now you guys are kind of like. But uh, of course, they're hypocrites. Everybody literally is who does like this fake like this bullshit stuff. Like, I don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, caught in your own web. Yeah, yeah, mom's being on it too, to be honest. Same, totally, Kelvin.
Oh, just no. love your girls. I love, you know it's what I mean? Love is love, dude. You guys, it's just give in. Fun. It's a wrap. This is why it's funny. You know why? Oh, I see dogs every single day. What's so what? multiple, girls, multiple girls in my videos, right? Mm -hmm. So I stopped doing it because she used to have vlogs. People were acting weird with the girls and their family. So I stopped posting that. Doesn't mean it stopped. It just means that I moved differently. Now, granted, you're going to say, oh, bro, this girl's your girlfriend. Nah. Ooh, well, what? I don't believe no, you guys no, are, have multiple partners. I don't believe it. You're know. What? You're not here in Miami. You don't see it. I don't know. Why I just, you I just am telling you. Y'all so, fucking have yeah. girlfriends. Cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Gay. Yeah. These two dudes have Sarah. girlfriends. Sarah. Gay. Sarah. Exposed. Sarah. You guys are so exposed right now. Ethan. Girlfriends. Ethan. Ethan. What do you, what mean, do you mean exposed? I do a weekly show with my girl, and I say she's my girl on my show. What are you talking about? Well, what Myron's the one dodging, but you say you I'm have multiple girlfriends. Anything. That's a everyone lie. Knows, everyone knows that my girl is Angelica. We do so she's not a hoe. You called her a hoe, but she's no longer a hoe. We do a true crime show together. So also, She's not a hoe. She was a hoe, but she's not a hoe anymore. I love the fact also, because if you're going to play that clip, I also said in there like, oh, well, we don't know. But this is what this is one of the profiles where you got to get to know the girl. Exactly. I said that too. You really chose to not show that part, didn't you? I'll open I it. No, it's there. I'll, I'll watch it again. So, again, it, well, you don't watch anything, which is why you are very <laughs> ill-informed. But She's let me go ahead and pictures like that. Here it, I mean, here bro. it is. I, I've well, watched the whole thing. You guys want to watch it again? I mean, we can. You know, sexy photos of yourself on the internet. You know, Instagram is just one medium that you can do it. Yeah, it is cheating. She's posting pictures like that? Bro. It's a wrap, man, for you. It's a wrap. So I don't when like you that. Post pictures, it's not sexualizing okay, ourselves. Okay. Yeah, when you post pictures of yourself right. on the internet that are scantily clad for the purpose of getting and or attention with your man. I swear these kinds of women in this bubble too, they want a man who's going to restrict them, hold them down, say, you're so good, baby. You're such a good woman. I never want you to get naked like that again. For me, baby, cover up. I swear these women have a fantasy of a quote alpha man coming into their life and being like, baby, for me, never show your tits again on the internet. And they're like, okay, daddy, for you, for sure, daddy. And like, it's a whole like dynamic. It's fine. I think you're all fucking toxic and deserve each other. But like, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people have that fantasy of like, I, I'm a hoe now, but I wish a good guy would come into my life and and, like make me better because he's gonna lead me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is sexualizing yeah. yourself. What is the definition? And it's not traditional. It's it's not 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 even if you're not a hoe, Myron, look at the titties out. The titties out on that top left. Go, scroll up a little bit, Chris. Look at this. This is haram. Like if you're a woman who's willing to date fresh and fit or Andrew Tate, like God bless you. You all deserve each other. Have a fun. Oh, yeah. She's for the streets. It's out of context. Is what you do when you try to run with a Out of context. What the fuck do you need? As I told you before. Okay, so so after you called her a hoe and said you're for the streets, you said psych? No, no, no. What I'm telling you is, I was like, oh, well, with this profile, you got to get to kind of get to know the girl, right? So here's what I want to say because you're trying to run with this narrative of like, blah, 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 right? Blah, blah, blah. Refresh the situation, right? Because you brought up the Asian girl. Fresh used to literally vlog a girl on his other channel every day, but he had to stop that shit because people started getting weird and sending girls weird messages, etc. Yeah. So he's with different women every day. That's not one of his main no, goals. No, he's not. One concept to you because you're, yes, bro. Many girls have met his mom. If I'm gonna break the fucking bubble to you, I'm sure that's true. Oh, bubble. Walter, you, uh, Walter, break the bubble. You do not strike me as a dude who brings girls around your mama easily. Look, many girls have met his mom. That's number one. Is that right, Walter? Hold on, that's yes. a funny thing. Walter, how many girls meet your mom? Damn. Many girls have met his mom. Okay, so that's not your mom. Walter, respect, Walter your, doesn't want to answer. respect your mom. Look, if their mother is like good with their work and good with their bullshit she's probably like she raised them his mom's probably like about that life or maybe not you know what i mean hey man so wait 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. this is good okay like lots okay mimi says how do you feel about traditional religious women who raises a son that morphs into myron i'm not surprised lots of religious women are patriarchal and misogynistic like lots of women are raising misogynists like i'm not surprised about it you know what i mean why isn't it exposed, Walter? Because I don't want to be like that. <laughs> He's a fed, though. Give him, give him you're, gonna, you're trying to use yeah. that to support your claim that that's his main girl. I'm trying to tell you, all girls meet the mom. It's to be sold, not told. You understand, Ethan? You understand that. Give him a game. Keep selling dreams to these girls, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> Wait, what did you that? say, Walter? The game is to be sold, not told, my friend. Yeah. So, it's to be now, sold, right? not told. It's a <laughs> but isn't your whole show telling this, the game? Is that what your whole fucking show is? What do you mean? Uh, uh, to you. Oh, you to understand. me, because I'm out. Because I'm married with kids. Lame. Yeah. Like, I'm a loser married with kids. Right, successful. But you can't put that on me because I don't do that right now. Yeah, I mean, if we want to talk about girls, why is your girlfriend going to the gym right now? My wife. My wife, wife. going to the gym. Yeah, why is she going ahead and starting to work out? Why would, like, why would your significant other want to be healthy? Oh, now she wants to be healthy. Yeah. Oh, if, whoa. Every girl that goes to the gym is going to cheat. Because you want to bring my chicken. Wait, your girlfriend's constantly at the gym. Both of y'all girlfriends are at the gym. It's a wrap. What? Walter, your girlfriend works out all the time. Who? Oh, dude, you guys are like a comedy duo. You guys are like who's on third? Who? Girlfriend, what? I don't know where. When? I just told you. My my wife is due in uh my wife who's working out to cheat on me is actually due to have a baby in less than a month. 
Third okay. baby, by the way. Third baby. A okay. boy. Three well, boys. Can I get a big ups for my sperm? Tell okay. science. Uh, a woman leaving a man, and she starts going to the gym. It's actually it's very well documented. I'm okay. just telling you, see pictures like that. Bro. Go ahead and have a uh, man for you. I was just saying, you guys pictures of herself in the gym and stuff like that, man. You might want to watch out. And here's the other thing too, because you want to mention with Angie. It's having um, kid, three kids a telltale sign of leaving a man. She everything up. Oh, like then we let you talk, bro. Yeah. So again, oh, okay. Once she got with me, she switched everything up, and I'm in an open relationship. I do no, what not. I want. She's not giving me. No, I'm open on my end. She's closed on her end. Okay. That's a lie. How's that? How's that a lie? Because I know you guys are cute and you love your girlfriends. He packs my condoms. You guys, it's just part of your business. <laughs> nice try, Ethan. Again, ow. Well, yeah, that's what you say. You guys have a nice rehearsed thing to sell it to your audience. Condoms. But you Bro, love your girlfriend. I love that for you guys. If you're not aware... Uh, give it up. Love, love, love. You guys, you guys have these wonder two wonderful ladies, and you want to treat them right, and I think that's great. And it's, a wrap. Wrap. it's a wrap. Ethan, you're trying so hard. If you're not aware, we travel a lot. We're here in Miami. We do double dates all the time. Walter, you've had sex with 1,000 women, you claim. Maybe could be more. Could be <laughs> more. <laughs> the point is, though, Ethan, you don't know how we operate. You just assume because that's all you do. You assume. haven't had so you, you've had sex with a thousand women, and then Myron, you've had sex with was it like four fifty or something about that? You had the exact yeah. number, like four. Yeah, it's like four four something. It's like you count one. each one. That's creepy. How's that creepy? You have like a kill list. Like what are you doing? You you got you you catalog every woman you have sex with. You know that's interesting because your partner Hassan sat down right next to a girl that cataloged the dick size, the amount of guys, the names. What does that have to do with me? This other shit. Well, you partnered with him and did a podcast together, bro. I don't know like, anything about that girl. I don't give a fuck. Your and you want to hold hands? Yeah, you know what? It's weird what she did. That's weird. Uh, we no. partnered with that guy, right? No. Your friend. Well, he didn't do it. She did. Oh, if he did it, it'd be weird. Hey, if he did it, if she did it, it'd be weird. If fucking uh, Abraham Lincoln did it, it'd be weird. What's if, better, to remember every person you've had sex with or to forget every person you've had sex with? What's more respectful? Oh, you know okay. what I mean? If Myron Gaines catalogs 447, I mean, how long is that list? You got like a whole fucking Torah scroll of girls you fuck. That's crazy. Man, you right. whip I mean, it out like a cartoon character and let it roll he's across the floor. Like that other girl, and your partner was totally cool with that. <laughs> By the way, he's even more critical of Israel than me, and you don't call him anti Semitic, do you? Well, it's yeah, he's. What? Your friend. Yeah, he, fact, that's why I don't do the podcast no more because he was critical of you being a super well, Zionist. It might surprise you to know, but being against Israel doesn't make you anti-Semitic. Oh, yeah, really? really? When did I mention Israel? I didn't even mention Israel when I was accusing you. Oh, yeah, I know. Because if you did mention Israel, you would know that that's what I'm critical of. No, the sexual tension between Ethan and these men right now, bro, like the sexual tension is palatable. Jewish people, the nation of Israel is what I'm critical of. So now, so Hassan is anti-Semitic. Cool. Neither am I. And he says way more stuff than I do about that conflict. What has he said about the movie Europa? Cataloging like who you've had sex with is not weird. I think it's. I don't think that's weird to like make a list of people you've had sex with. I feel like it's weird to not remember who's been inside your butt. I feel like that's a little. That's human. You forget things. But if Myron wants to remember who's been inside of his butt, I feel like he could. He's allowed to write it down. Memory is very fickle. He's not going to remember them. And it feels weird just for like doctor's appointments and do other like just to just so you know like. Why wouldn't you want to write it down? What? Did you watch it? You're so funny. Uh, okay. I mean, listen, I haven't read Mein Kampf, but I know it's not good. It's a wrap. Well, have mean, you I read think... Mein Kampf? How do you know it's bad? Have I read Mein Kampf? Yeah. No, I haven't read then, it. Is Mein Kampf a bad book? Is really? it? Well, I mean, I don't know. No, you tell us. Have you read this? You should read it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's about Hitler. It's about Hitler's dreams of basically uh, uh, world domination and that Jews are the root of all the world's problems. It's a, pre Hitler. it's a prelude to the Holocaust. Did you read it? What do you, yeah, what do you think about no, it? No, I you... literally started this conversation by saying I haven't read it, Walter. So then, what are you talking about? It? Okay. <laughs> what the? Fuck? You have the, You're like a goldfish, bro. How are you a podcaster? Yeah, no, I've been meaning to ask you this, coconuts. Of all well. the professions in the world, the fact that you're actually a podcaster blows my fucking mind. All I'm gonna say is, if you're gonna call me anti-Semitic for being critical of Israel, then you gotta call your. I didn't criticize you for being saying one thing about Israel, man. You're conflating you being a neo-Nazi with being a critic of Israel, and it's stupid. Well, that's what I'm critical of is Israel. So clearly, I'm not anti-Semitic by your logic. Thanks. God, you are really dense. I'm not dense at all. I'm just saying, like, I don't even know. Okay, you got me. You got me, buddy. So, okay, right, okay so, so just because my girl packs my condom, so we're in an open relationship. I know you're saying like that's a, yeah, a I don't problem. That. Yeah, leave that. Yeah, I don't believe that. I mean, what, what you want me to send you sex videos or something? What do you want? Oh, <laughs> absolutely oh. not. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what do you need? What, like, bro, what I mean, are here, you filming those? Strange. What do you like? What we do with girls? <laughs> like, yeah, that's a little weird, man. Like, that's your whole shtick. What do you mean? Why? You don't believe us? Are you married, bro? I do not believe you guys. Absolutely not. What I do believe... not believe us. Not particularly. What do you not believe us? Please tell us. You guys are in a loving relationship with your wonderful girlfriends. You think we're both And you're monogamous. And also, you, Walter, you've slept with probably 15 women, and Myron, eight. That's what I'm saying. So, Ethan, okay, so you don't believe nobody counts either. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Weird, bro. That's your comment applying to a man about my body count. That's yeah. weird, bro. Weird. So you don't think I got an eight body count and you think Fresh has a 50 body count? Yes. You think we're gonna... Okay, that way, bro. Cool. Fantastic. Whatever you think, bro. That's that's awesome. Six, six million? Uh, what do you think, bro? <laughs> what do you think? Nice. Bring it back to the Holocaust. That's Bring it said. back to Holocaust denial. That's what's up. That, that's what you said. Let's yeah. not forget about that part of the wait, interview. Wait, wait, I, I thought you wanted to debate like, you know, uh, masculinity and dating. Well, me, okay, I'll ask you a question in that realm. Why why do you why is it important how many women you've had sex with? I never said that was important. You've you've said your body count. You said you've slept with a thousand. Podcast. So it's not no. important how many women men have sl
I just, I just count. I mean, I'm just one of those guys. I, I kind of document everything in my life. Mm -hmm. That's just how. Mm -hmm. And Walter, do you count? No. It's too many to count in Walter's case. That's going to be fucking every, every day, multiple what? times. That's my boy. Conrad with the Super Chat says, I don't know if you watch the dick show, but the host said he thinks Andrew Tate doesn't even like having sex with women. And I feel the same about Fresh and Fit. Do they enjoy being straight? I think they don't enjoy the company of women. I think they enjoy the status women bring to their lives. Because men who are misogynistic are secretly like seeking validation from women or not so secretly depending on how you view it. So I think it's pretty clear that they need women's validation in the same way that women who tend to really hate men and resent men in a particular bubble um, who are misandrist are also like upset they can't seek the validation of men. And so it is kind of interesting, which is why I think they should be together. That's why the kinds of women that go fresh on Fresh and Fit, generally speaking, who talk all big games, who talk about all these things, like secretly they're seeking the validation of men. And that's why Fresh and Fit feel validated in their work because they're like, look at all these women that are making millions of dollars or $100,000 who are willing to give it up to be my wife. It's because they're all seeking each other's validation. And so they're like continuing the cycle. It's why they all belong in that bubble. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. In terms of Andrew Tate, I think it is the same thing. It's about validation and status to impress other men or to seek the validation of women. You know what I mean? Um, but every person's going to have their own reasoning. Like, I'm not sure exactly why Myron specifically or Fresh specifically or Andrew specifically, but generally speaking, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Lakar says, Britt, the female streamer who cataloged the people said she had sex with a whole spreadsheet comparing dick sizes and performance. That's pretty weird. I don't know. I just doesn't feel that weird. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know if we're supposed to keep track of like everything from our mental illnesses to our quirks, to how we eat food, to whether or not we're breaking down because we're stressed from work or stressed from who, if you want to like catalog who's been inside your body and what it was like, you do that queen. Okay. It's your fucking life. I don't know why that is weird to document who's been inside your body. I feel like, and the memories of it and like what the experience was like, like, you know, memory is fickle. Why is it weird to document? Like, it's called keeping a journal, but the journal is a spreadsheet. I just don't know why it's weird. Wait, he barely has time to do the podcast. He's just fucking on the way to work. He told me it's eight. You know why it's important to document yeah, things, Ethan? I'm doing I document jokes. everything so that when people make allegations, try to say you sexually assaulted a girl, you're prepared. And you're able to do a six-hour podcast with all the evidence proving that you're innocent and you didn't do shit. <laughs> accusations like Yo, that. honestly, as a public figure, you might want to keep track of who you've had sex with because, like, you will forget. And you might need to remember. <sighs> so I do document everything for that very reason. Great. Fantastic. Yep. Um, well... Um, let's see. Coconuts, you are, you are, um, religious, right? Who said that? Oh my God. She shared the spreadsheet with streamers and her streamer friends. I think talking about people's like genitals with other people is generally like pretty taboo, but it's actually pretty common in a lot of circles. I mean, they did it on Love is Blind recently. They were talking about their guys' dick size and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But at the same time, like, that's pretty common in a lot of things. You know what I mean? Like, in a lot of bubbles, it's really common. If people feel like it's a violation of their consent, they can have that conversation. I think it's, like, very immature and probably is not a good sign. But also, some people do it for sex work. Some people do it for documentation. I mean, Ayla just made a whole list of people who banged her on her birthday. and she. But they knew what they were signing up for, to be fair. So anyways, the thing is, I don't know the details of that story. But keeping a list is not a problem. I don't know what the problem is. There might be a problem with whether or not you share it. I don't know. But I don't know that story. So I feel like I'm not commenting on that story. I'm just coming on, commenting on the idea of keeping a list, which I don't think is weird to keep a list. Right? Like, I don't think that's very weird to know who's been inside you. God, what's the point of this conversation, man? Do you want to end the conversation? Well, Ethan, uh, while you're on your decline, I just think you should research the problem you assume. You know? Yeah, you, you didn't research much, man. Bro. You, well, oh, okay. yeah, you did like, yo, you gotta fire the people that did your research for you, bro. Terrible team, bro. God damn. May I accuse you guys of being bad faith? Sure. Well, how are we bad faith? Go ahead. Well, we can start by not answering any fucking question I ask. Oh, you yeah. answer every question I have with like, what do you think? That's like cowardly, well, lame oh. combo. You guys suck. Myron, are you religious? No. Oh, sorry, not Myron. Walter, are you religious? What do you think? <laughs> you look so silly. You know why I say that, uh, Ethan? Because if you do research, you would know what the answer is. I uh, know what the answer is, dude, but what? that's part no. of having a conversation, no. man. No, no, no. Tell the audience what I am. Let's see how your um, assistants did. Yeah. Let's see how they did. Tell what, what is he? And what are your piece? You're right or wrong. Go ahead. Well, I see you're wearing a cross. Okay. I believe you come from a religious family, correct? Okay. I believe that you're, you have an ex a family member, a grandpa, or someone like that who's a pastor. No. I believe you might have been studying to become a pastor at some point. Oh. Yes. Okay. And Whoa. I believe that I'm not 100% sure what your current status is with religion, and hence the question, my friend. Okay. Well, the answer is no. Okay, very good. How fun was that? You're just, you're a thrill and a joy. It was great. You're so monotone, thank you. 
You did. Hey, you did answer the question. So you're not religious. Mm -hmm. what you can't get mad at us because you've been a little ill researched. So we kind of see, want to see how accurate you would be with that one. True. I mean, you guys say that, but I'm pretty spot on here. I wouldn't say you're spot on, man. No, like you, you've got things way out of context, way off. Okay. You know, awesome. you literally said our body counts are eight and fifteen, man. You're not spot on at that's, all. Yeah, that's just a joke. I, you know what I mean? I'm just goofing on you guys. Eight and fifteen, and then you also said that we're monogamous relationships and we're loving relations with our girlfriends. Like, like what? We got exposed. And then you said that I'm exposed to having a girlfriend when I have a weekly show where I call her my girlfriend on my true crime chat. <laughs> we literally play Overwatch together and stream it. What are you talking about, dude? Like, everyone knows wow. I girl. I never hit that. <laughs> that's kind of cute. You know they play over. Wait, he plays Overwatch with his girlfriend and they stream it. Is that what he said? Did I miss that? That's so cute. It was bad. Wikipedia is his source. Yo, well, yeah, Wikipedia. <laughs> well, well, you guys have seen the movie. What's a better source than asking you guys? No, I mean, dude, I would hope you would have better research than that. God damn, Ethan. You've seen the movie. Uh, tell me what it's about. I'm prepared. What, what, what else do you want to talk about? What is Europa about? Bro. What's oh, who can say? I spent eight hours watching this film, and I can't remember anything about it. Yeah, that pales in comparison to other documentaries that I've watched on World War II. I watch everything, dude. That's a special one, though. Come on. That's one of the special ones that you got. You can't find it on Netflix. You know what I mean? Okay, so so I'm evil. Or like I'm a bad guy for looking at alternative history and looking to see something that isn't necessarily in mainstream media. I think that's important to look at. All um, you didn't just look at it. You promoted it. Things again, like with your claim saying that you're anti-Semitic. I bring Nick Fuentes on. I bring Dave Rubin on. I bring Laura Dave Rubin on. is not King of the Jews. Right. Also, but that's Nick, not the point Nick Fuentes is a neo-Nazi. He, he, look, look. The point is, is that I'm okay with having conversations with people that have different <laughs> views than I than I do, and I'm okay with having people from different walks of life come on this podcast and talk. What like, other uh, what other World War II documentaries would you consider based? Uh, there's a couple, man, that are pretty good. Can I you mean, name them? Sure. I, I like Numek, right? I think that's a good one. Numek? Uh, yeah. Based. By, 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 yeah, pretty based. Talks okay. about, you know, how JF, John F. Kennedy was killed. Oh, that's another. Check that out. Wait, what's the, can you read? Is it okay if I read the synopsis of that one? I don't know if that has a synopsis. I don't know if that one has a synopsis, man, but it's very historic. Oh, so, you're, you're, so wait, where are you finding this shit? Nobody's ever wrote a description of it. That's what you're saying? It's never been it's described Rumble, in, the, in the human it. history? You're not going to find it. It's on Rumble. Oh. For reasons. Yeah. But it's all historically accurate. Extremely historically accurate. What's it about? Well, it covers a bunch of things. It covers how, you know, the nuclear bomb was stolen from the United States, and it talks about how organized crime uh, was involved. Where in the was the States. nuclear bomb flown to? It was stolen from the United States and moved to Israel. Stolen by who, Myron? Israel. Why didn't you just say that from the beginning? I literally just told you. you well, well, I had to press it out of you. I, why did I have to press that detail I out of you? I told you the documentary, and then you were interrupting me as I was trying to tell you what okay, it was. so let's keep going. So it's about how Israel stole a nuclear bomb from America. Yep. Go on. Which is, by the way. Go on. It's a fact. Dude. Okay, go on. What else is it about? Anything else, bro? It's getting boring. Yeah. What do we do, Coco? What do we do? Well, decline. I mean, yeah, literally, ABC says, damn, Ethan is really letting them promote it to his audience. Literally, Ethan, that's what I'm saying. When you're platforming these people, like at some point, Ethan deciding to platform them says so much about him. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't actually have, like, oh my God. So embarrassing. He's basically just like billboarding this movie right now. I don't, this is your debate. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's no, a story. You guys are just... He asked Fresh and Fit to come on. Ethan was like, Fresh Fit, uh, I need views. <laughs> you guys are being very subservient to me right now. I like that. We're not being subservient to you. We're just letting you know that, like... You, hey, laid, you, got your, you laid down and you're all spread out for me. That's strange. What? So what? I, call, I, call, I call this a uh, civil debate, bro. which is, you know, in our, we've been very professional. Nobody loves Ethan enough. Who let Ethan do this? Nobody loves Ethan, bro. Why don't they let Ethan do these things? We've been avoiding ad hominems. You've been taking a lot of ad hominems. You haven't really... Even... I know he's a grown man, obviously. But like, come on. Debate any of our ideas. Man, us more uh, than actually attacking any of our ideas or our viewpoints. You've just been coming at us the whole time, which is cool. I love I Ethan. You do this, which is why we were prepared. Okay, um, so you can't be that disappointed. No, no, no. I mean, I know. What, is there anything you want to ask me? Since uh, this has been very subservient with me and firm control of the interview, no, as, no, uh, no. as the kind of you know, I, which is which I tend to be in control of, of interactions with people. It's it's just one of my kind of alpha traits, along with being married and having kids and being quite successful too. I'm oh, You don't want to have this debate in person. When I asked you to do it in person, right? Ooh. What does that matter? Oh, okay. So alpha, but you don't want to have this conversation in person like I wanted to. Who cares? Oh, now it's who cares. <laughs> I think that's a pretty important detail, Ethan. Why? You know, that sounds pretty subservient that you want to do it on the internet and not in person. What? Oh, okay. Now it's not so subservient now, huh? Zoom is, get, is Zoom is subservient? No, I'm telling you that I wanted to have this conversation in person and you don't want to do it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I prefer Zoom. I do all these kind of interviews on Zoom. Oh, yeah, well, I think that says a lot. What, are you going to beat my ass? What are you saying? I never said that. <laughs> why would I be scared? To, why would I, you're playing, I'd be scared if you came to the office, right? I don't know why you don't want to do it. I don't know why. You tell us why you don't want to do it in person. Well, I'll tell you why. Because when sure. I do these types of interviews with people, it's good to have an out for us and you. Sometimes have they get out. contentious. Sometimes they get heated. And when it's on Zoom, we can just hang up and carry on. And same with you guys. So that's why I've never had anybody in studio for these types of debates. Okay, well, here's the thing with me. I like to, you know, be able to look a man in his eye when he disagrees with me and we can have a civil conversation, right? And make sure that, you know, stays integrity based, respectful, et cetera. Because I'm pretty confident you wouldn't have said half the things you said. Yo, Coconut's definitely got to pee right now. I would say everything I said to your face person. every fucking time. And let's set it up in person. I don't want you in my studio. Who cares, man? Why are you so upset? You're so upset. You, you have a six pack, okay. and so you think that that will intimidate me. When every, over yes. the internet, it seems that I have the edge, personality wise, uh, control
uh, relationship wise, family wise. So, 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 so if you bring, so your theory is if you bring the abs I just said to the studio, then you'll have a one up on me. No, I just said we can have this per conversation in person. You don't want to do it. And that's fine. I think that says that signals a lot of things, but that's cool. I'm not, I, mean, I am having a baby in two weeks. I really don't I'm give a fuck. Here first class, we can have a conversation in person. I'm not saying that there's going to be Can any you not express yourself over video call? No, we absolutely can. But I'm saying you're trying to have this frame of like, oh, well, I'm the dominant one, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, well, you didn't want to do this. You've been dominated today, my friend. You didn't dominate anything, my friend. We're, we're debunk all of your points. Yo, nigga. But we can continue on. Like I said, you've just been doing ad hominem attacks. You've been reaching, etc. No we're way, dude. Points. Is there we anything you guys want to ask me today? Uh, I'll, I'll give you the floor. I'll relinquish control uh, briefly for you guys to ask me something. No, no, no. no. Uh, it's fine. We've asked you a few questions. You said you wanted to debate on something with uh, with intersectional dynamics and dating. Go ahead. What do you want to ask? Oh, you wanna, I asked. Well, I, debate, I, I, you said you wanted to debate masculinity, dating, all this other stuff. None of that was actually covered, which is cool. I anticipated this would happen. No, but, I think we covered pretty well what we said. We said, what did we say? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Who gives a fuck? No, 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 who gives a fuck? Well, we said like dating, culture, Jesus. men and women, and we said general stuff you guys talk about. This is all stuff you guys talk about. You've had Nick Fuentes on. I showed you clips of that. How was that taking you out of context? Oh, there was no comment. Of, uh, there was no talk at all about foreign policy with Israel and America, but that's fine. Huh? I mean, we can talk about that. I mean, it's, it's whatever, man. It's cool. Like I what said, do you want to ask? Okay, so my, my question is why does body count matter? You guys said it doesn't, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure that's a contradiction. We agreed, <laughs> on, we agreed on masculinity, feminism, body, body count, et cetera. You said body count when it comes to men and sexual partners. We said, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter like that. You should get your experience, but it doesn't matter like that. But men and women aren't the same. You said specifically for men. Oh, body, right, right, right. Body, yeah, okay. Body count matters for women. Right. This is one of your guys' great points. Walter, does body count uh, matter for women? Absolutely. Really? Well, then your mom doesn't. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. She's lovely. I was just going to do a your mom joke. Based on actual topics, or are you going to keep making ad hominem? Bro, it's clearly over. You want to ask me anything or not? This shit is boring. You guys are so subservient. I'm going to put a little pink cuff. Keep... I want to put little fluffy pink handcuffs on you guys and call you <laughs> naughty, naughty boys. Love your girlfriends. <laughs> you naughty boys love your girlfriends, and that is so gay. It's a wrap. That's, that's gay to love women? Apparently. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, Ethan. Well, it is a joke. I know it's hard to comprehend. All right. So I guess you guys don't. You guys didn't prepare any questions? Oh, we asked you, bro. Okay. But uh, apparently you're not versed in the topic, so there's no point. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, the thing is, is that you're hypercritical of what we tell guys on how we advise them to, to move with modern dating. And then we asked that question. You couldn't even really give any type of, you know, solid. Conrad with the super chat. Thank you so much. Says bottom versus bottom in a rare reverse human centipede. Bro. Thank you for the super chat. Oh. Game plan for guys to move. So I find it interesting how I'll put one together, all right? I'll go, I'm gonna go hit the grind. I'm gonna put together a dating you plan. Okay? You know, people like you guys typically tend to be hypercritical of how we tell guys to move, which we say, I don't know if you get this message, but we get thousands of messages from guys saving them from committing suicide, hurting themselves, etc. You're saints. You save them all. Yeah, we save them from making really bad decisions with women because guys really do make I mean, a lot I, of bad I think if, if there's men that watch this show, if they've learned anything, it's probably how to respect uh, and how to have a long term healthy relationship with a woman that you can call your wife and have a family with. How do you get a wife, Ethan? Bro, what the fuck, man? Do you need me to do the Dr. Seuss listing places again? Yeah, well, yeah, like, I'll write a guide. I'll write a guide. I'll write a guide. Because my thing is like, you're you're like just you're talking about the finish line. What about the race? Yeah, yeah. you understand? Like, you cool. have to. Get All right, are you married? Where uh, you can even identify a female that's worthy of marriage of having a family, Dan, with, et cetera. And, and unfortunately, in today's day and age, it's not that simple anymore. So we live in a very complex world where it's difficult to identify women that are marriage material, and most aren't. Simply, that's just what it is. So you guys are. Like, <laughs> great. If you guys' well, method is so good, why aren't you married? Again, because men are the ones that decide if they want to get married. Choice. So you had so so you choose not to be married. Yeah, that's because men are the one, we're the gatekeepers to marriage and commitment. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Right. And, um, oh, that's so different than women choose the marriage. Oh, that's such a different bubble. See how some bubbles think that, but other bubbles think like women get to be the pickers. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. You're 34, right, Myron? Yes. And, um, me too. Do you plan on getting married someday? Do you think it's important? Eventually, the nuclear family is the backbone to any thriving society. Oh, thank <laughs> you for saying that about me. Good job, but a lot of guys don't have that ability to find a woman that's worthy. You don't have that ability. I don't have that ability? You're not married. <laughs> that's by choice. <laughs> oh, but, you, but no, the ability to find a woman, you clearly don't have that ability. And let, looking, well, let me no. ask you this. Let me ask you this, Myron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you are single by choice and you don't... Let, let me ask you this. Why are you, you on, know, um, me on a sugar daddy website? Why are you on sugar it's daddy website? be your sugar baby and then Never couldn't did. afford you my allowance. Never he did. couldn't afford my $10,000 allowance a month and said, huh, that's I'm funny. Why don't you just up. come on my podcast so, instead? Ethan, are you aware so of the fact that we did a complete a episode? To be on just, let the clip, just let the clip play so the audience can watch and then we can talk about it. Or to be on a fucking app. It's called Seeking Arrangements to Troll Women. Yes. And I know a bunch of girls have talked about it because that's his thing. That's how he gets women so to come I just want to be so thank you for cementing the fact that I don't pay girls off sugar sites. Facts. Thank you. Then why are you and on that? Also, why are you on that? Because I use it as a dating site. I've said it many times. <laughs> so you use the the sugar daddy websites as dating sites. Yes. Yeah, so we did a whole episode. <laughs> and on then this. you complain about women being 
shallow. I never complained about women being you shallow. Say, you say it's hard to find a good woman because they're interested uh, and they're, they're motivated by material things and stuff. And yet you're seeking women specifically who are shallow. I mean, would supposedly uh, be a certain type of woman, obviously, that would be on a sugar daddy website. So it seems like you are confirming your biases by even going there to find women. Are you, you, you know what I mean? <clears throat> what? Okay, so you. Sorry, said Walter. I'll, I'll say. It. Do you want me to say it again slower? Yeah, I mean, you. you what is your specific thing that you're trying to insinuate here? Because one, you're trying to attack me for being on a sugar site, which I was going to talk about, but you. But that's fine. So, what is your specific critique? Yeah, you. The women. Women are what are this way? You say women are uh, materialistic. Hypergamous. Hyper. Okay, hypergamous. Okay. And then, okay, let's just start there. Women are always trying to date up a socio uh, in status. Yes. And and yet, here you are seeking out these types of women to confirm your own yeah. bias. Don't you find that ironic? No, um, because here's the thing: <clears throat> all women are hypergamous. Okay. Well, and all women on sugar <laughs> on sugar daddy websites are. They're even they're even more so with the hypergamy. Oh, so okay? they're hyper hypergamy. But you yes. seek them out. Okay. Because here's the thing. Because you when know that they're interested in your and money and not your personality, which is what makes you insecure. Okay. I love how you just jumped to that conclusion, but can I finish my point and Please. then I can go and address right. your ridiculous claim that you yeah. just made? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, um, when you're I'm dating, not insecure. Okay. When you're, well, we'll, we'll address that here in a second because I love when liberals like you like to claim insecurity. Liberals? Yeah. 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 Dude, you're a leftist. Come on, man. Let's keep it a thousand. Anyway. Oh, chill. What are we doing here? It, it, that's a whole other conversation. But either way, when you're a guy and you're dating, you need to have multiple methodologies to meet women, right? You mentioned before, hey, you should go and meet a house party, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's called, you know, going out and meeting a girl in real life. But you want to use dating apps, you want to use social circle, you want to use the club, you oh, use God. Dating, et cetera. You want to be able to meet women through different avenues, okay? So sugar sites, if you're smart, you treat them like a dating app. Idiots use it to actually get sugar babies and pay. Why would you want to well, seek out women like that? On sugar sites? Yeah. So here's the here's the here's the thing. There's a lot of women on these sugar sites actually that are professionals. They make a lot of money themselves. They're doctors, lawyers, etc. And what they do is they use <laughs> dating site. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so know you're you're on about. sugar daddy sites looking for doctors? I never said that. I'm telling you that there's women on there, okay? Yeah. That are looking for guys that are on their level financially, or they're tired. That's of not what a sugar daddy companies. website is, dude. Come on, who you you're, you're, you're doing this silly game, thing here? Again, your, even, your limited knowledge is why you're making the comments that you're making. Okay, but so me, so women, doctors, and professionals of all types, professors yes. are on sugar social daddy websites plus, searching for their media, perfect plus, sugar daddy. Now, with that said, there are awesome. a lot of women. That are um like basically sugar babies on there and and escorts. Of course there are. But your job as the man is to screen those girls out. And I did this. What? 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 Myron? What? What? A whole episode on YouTube where we covered that shit. A to Z, how do you use sugar sites to actually date and not get finessed, okay? And find girls that are actually worthy of dating and not dealing with a bunch of, you know, uh, chicks that you don't. Sugaring is sex work. So he's specifically going to a sex working website to find girls that aren't sex workers? Sugar babying is sex work. What? I don't necessarily want to align with. Now, is using a sugar site the best way to meet a chick? I would say probably not. The reality is most of them probably aren't going to be fit for a long-term relationship. However, so are, there why girls, go there? are there girls on there? Because, dude, th th because on dating apps, etc., most women are not worthy of a relationship. So, most we, well, why so he's going specifically to a sex worker app to find a non-sex worker? Oh, there specifically. What? So widen your options. So widen you your did, options, bro. bro. Widen so the lot. options, God. And here's for fucking? Too, also, you for fucking for sure. Know this but let me also say this. Uh, yeah. no, I'm not no I'm just using this as an analogy you, you know, go ahead I'm not even gonna go there you might meet a girl on tinder okay or you might meet a girl on bumble or hinge and maybe she doesn't meet up or maybe she just doesn't get back to responding to you whatever a lot of the times you'll see that girl on a sugar site happens all the time okay 
she'll be way more responsive to you on those sites because there's implied status. <coughs> okay? And that's just how your it is. Your personality is not enough to get her huh. attention. When it comes to dating apps, your personality can't show until you meet her in person. Yeah. Right. The whole goal is to get her on and the date in the first that's, place. That's when you never get that second date. And that's one of the limitations. That's one of the limitations of online dating, which is why I tell guys you need to go out there and be in different avenues meeting women. But with online dating, you are limited to that degree. And status uh, and image matters. On your sugar daddy um, profile, you, got, you say you guys do one-on-one -on -one coaching? I never said that. What? It's right here. You do one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's on your website. What the the consultations? Ooh, yeah, how much do they charge an hour? I charge two fifty an hour. How much do they charge an hour? Shout out to my callers. You guys are everything. What are they charging an hour? Oh, they, we need to update that. I don't do. I, I raised my prices significantly since then. Yeah, because it's is on it? your what website is it? and it's open for for enrollment. And your schedule is fucking wide open, bro. Both of y'all. Yeah. Every I, hour, I, ain't nobody wants to talk to 500 you. Five hundred an hour, you guys. Five, it's six, probably seven, more now. eight, nine, Should ten, eleven a.m. Look at every day wide open, baby. You know what's interesting, Ethan? I literally had to refund a guy two days ago on oh. PayPal. He Whoa, the image went away. I'm sorry. Hold up, hold up. Sometimes this happens on my fucking OBS. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My bad. Oh, fuck me, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know why this happens. What? Oh my god, the video completely disappeared. Hold on, I'm going to play the sound while I get the video I actually up. commented when Candace Owens was in here. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fun to because I increased my prices and I don't do consultations mm -hmm. like that one. That's why it's on your website? It's a wrap. There we go. You're not on there like that, man. We need to update it. Okay. It's been a while. Fair I've said it, I said it several times on my podcast. <laughs> Guys, I've done consultations like that. I've increased my prices. So once again, you're reaching and you failed. <laughs> it's on your website. How's that a reach? Again, we need to update it. We All right. update so that's not my fault. That's your fault. fault. And by the way, that calendar is looking full, though. I don't, I don't know, man. It sounds like a cope. Uh, bro, we don't do calls hardly ever, bro. Ethan like, is just, being so weird. We, you know what's funny? It's open because we refund people all the time. And yeah, we're, we're doing people, man. We'll call everybody. We literally refunded somebody a couple days ago. I don't do conversations like that anymore. Sure. I've increased prices significantly. All right. It ain't like, say. I've even mentioned on the podcast a million times, hey, guys, I've increased my price if you're going to book a console. <laughs> how much is it? For how long? Uh, 30 minutes. That's what this one is, right? I mean, well. An hour, I, maybe? An hour? Well, now I changed it to 1,000 for 20 minutes. What the fuck are you going to tell me 20 minutes is worth a thousand dollars? That's fucking hilarious. Well, I'm changing. The, the thing, Ethan, is it's, again, Hold it's on. to protect time so that we can focus on the podcast. Because you said we film three times per week or do three live shows. We actually do six. Damn. We do one during the day, one during the night. We cover how to make money on money. I'm going to raise my prices to a thousand dollars for every 30 minutes. So I'm cheaper than Myron, guys. Mondays, we cover how to date on Wednesdays. We cover calling shows on Friday. We talk about self-improvement, how to get in shape, how to make money, how to invest, how to get into crypto. We cover multiple different things. Do you, think, uh, do you guys Hold think on, that... Ethan, real quick, oh, real go, quick. Ahead. go ahead. This, this happened today, actually. Hey, man, you probably don't remember me. We had a coaching call back in 2020, uh, 22. I was in a rough spot financially, physically, etc. Today, I'm making six figures, have a great physique, and just really had a bit in my life. The kind of list of that call Get that on Fiverr? What? No, no, no email them. Coaching call. Thanks again. Uh... Not <sighs> the point is, bro, like, yeah, no, I, I, I know you can order testimonials on Fiverr. What's your point? No, it wasn't a testimonial. Oh, it's it's not. Guys, tell me this. When you're trying to coach guys how to pick up girls, is it important to give them alcohol? What? 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 Here's, well, here at the end is the clip of the, it's Any date idea is going to work, guys. It's just that the drinking one tends to have the best ROI because you're meeting them at night and it like loosens a little bit, right? So alcohol increases ROI, and especially when they're underage. And by underage, I mean under 21. You guys give a lot of under 21 girls alcohol in your studio. I thought they didn't. Please try to reach here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm Ashanti. I'm 18 years old. Um, 18. Uh, here she is drinking uh, for Cinco de Cheers Trunque. to uh, Thursday with the ladies. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they didn't do this. Are you going to tell me there's water in her cup? Well, here's the thing. Well, what, what 18 watching? today. 18. Okay. 18. What's up, 18 year old? Miss Green Dash. What's up, you, man? My name is Zoe. Oh, come on in the live. I'm 18 years old. When I see guys that are single, I see her. I see a lot of shit. But when I see men that are. Here they are. 18. Myron's liquor bottles in the middle. They're sipping. Kool-Aid, I assume, right? They're having a yeah, one, grape we, we soda or uh, orange soda. I want to see who in particular this is. We can't see anything. We can't see anything. 20 years old. 20 years oh, old. for real? Yeah, well, we can't see the video. Okay, okay well, it's a video of, like, you having girls on. Colleen says these bubbles together are pretty unbearable. They are literally, guys, just remember how good of a space my Discord is. Remember how good of a space this chat is. Just be grateful that we can at least come back to this. And this is we're just visiting this bubble. Just thank your stars. Thank your gods. Thank whoever every day that this is not your life. What a blessing to be us, that this is not our life. My life is so, I'm so grateful. My life is so good. I'm so grateful. I can't wait to kiss my husband later. I can't wait to pet my cat. I can't wait to just breathe. What a blessing life is. We're, our lives are so good, bro. Hello. They introduce themselves. A lot of them are saying they're 18. This girl just said she's 20. But anyway, and then it cuts to you guys, and then it cuts to you guys back after the show drinking with them. So my question is, is it good to give underage girls alcohol? Does that increase ROI? When was this? When was this video? 
Uh, can they not see it? I mean, it's right here. Can't see right. What, what date was that? Mm. Oh, I can tell you. It'd be easier if we could show you, though. Oh my god! Why does my OBS keep doing I'm so sorry, guys. Is that on our side, Dan? Are you guys pretending you can't see it, or you can see it? Yeah, no, we can. I can see your right. little oh, thing there. You can see it now? Yeah, we can see the video now. Okay, cool. Shanti, I'm okay. 18 years old. So Shanti's um, 18. Okay. Here she so, is drinking at Cinco de Drunco party Cheers to uh, Thursday. With the so she's sipping yeah. water, right? So there's two situations here. Number one, some girls lie and say, I'm 21. And she we said she's 18 in, in front of you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. the second one, if we know that they're not 21, we put water in their cups and we do the Instagram story anyway. Uh-huh. Oh. How did I know that you were going to say they're drinking nice. water? On Cinco yes. de Drunco? Yes. You okay, know, okay it's water in the red cup. Ladies. Nice try once again. Yeah, no, I totally believe you guys. If They're turning up with that hot well, on Cinco water, de Drunco day. Put water in their cups because it's an Instagram story. Well, I, I, so, what, I think it's such a great idea for you guys to pretend like they're drinking. Minors are drinking. I can see how that benefits you so much. I mean, that's such a plausible explanation. Well, you go, you know what would be awesome of us? Again, to pretend like the minors have alcohol. So people think they have alcohol, but again, actually it's water. That's again, such a, that makes again, so much sense to me. I mean, that's a good you point. Assuming, which is why we do it. You're right. Check. You caught me again. So again, you're reaching. Assuming reaching once again. I'm not no, inside the cup. No, I'm well, not inside the cup. You're, you you've got me. Wrong. You got me. I'm not inside the cup. You're trying really hard, but yeah, man. Build. it's very so, no. easy. And, and so here's another one. But it's not just once, it's, it's many times. <laughs> Here is um... Yeah, I know, you're very happy about life. Okay. 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 Let's just watch it, we'll finish this in a comment. This girl's also 18. When I see guys that... Yeah? You need to fire the people that did research for you, bro. You okay, well then tell me what's wrong with it. Her single, I see her act a lot of shit, but when I see men that are here... So, um, again... So here she is 18, you guys, there's alcohol at the table, and you guys gave her a fake alcohol cup with water, so that it didn't look awkward. Yeah. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. I get it's it. Also, we include everybody wise. so they don't feel left out. Exactly. So, Ethan, I don't think you understand how shows work. I kind of get that. These type of shows run. But ultimately, bro, you're wrong. And again, we, we check our IDs, so it's all, it's all legal. Yeah, man. So Can I ask we, you a question? You Can I ask you? You create an environment, best of environment, etc. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just follow the logic here. Etc. You invite, you have an 18 year old in your studio. You guys finish yep. the show. You yep. go to the kitchen. You pour everyone drinks. That's before the no, show. Before the nice show. Try. Okay, before, before, right. It's good to get them liquored up before the show, so that it's, easy, it's easier to speak with them. Water. And actually, we tell Water. them, ladies, don't get drunk if yeah. you're able to drink, because we will talk on the show. He does say that. They do say that during their shows. Two drinks, bro. All the time. That's very responsible of you guys. Own. Okay, so, so hold on. Let me just follow the logic. So you're at this table with a girl who's 18, and you say, um... Here, take this cup that looks like what you would drink, a red cup, which is synonymous with drinking red alcohol. Cup. And I'm going to yep. put water in it so that people watching think you're drinking alcohol with us. Yeah, it's like aesthetic. It's for the story. Yeah, it's like Miami story, okay. aesthetic. Yeah, the story really. Okay. That's I mean, awesome. Hell, if you watch our podcast. Now, and you think that's a good you, idea? You see us with red cups we, and we don't drink. We wouldn't do that. I know you don't drink. That's why you guys are such creeps. You get. We wouldn't do that. But in the party bubble, I think it kind of makes sense in terms of branding. Right? Girls around you drunk and you guys stay sober. That's like Hallmark creep Because they're selling a good time. Here. Myron, Again. and you think that's a good oh, idea for 18-year-olds to have so to have red solo cups? Okay, first of all, red solo cups are normal cups too. Do you guys not use them just in general? So that so it looks like they're drinking alcohol. Oh, Why is that? Is that's so, a, hard. so hard, dude. It's water. It's like, I know. I know you guys are saying it's water, but why would I you believe it? I believe it's water. Myron's kind of a stickler for the rules, apparently, from the people I know who's been on his show. They said he's like really a stickler for the rules. So I don't know. Want to even make it seem like you're drinking with them? Bro, they don't want to be left out. Hey, can I get a cup too? So I can do cheers? Bro, oh, so what's you, wrong? But it, it, it's a, it, that, that's not even close to worth mm. the perception that you're drinking with minors. Just don't give them a fucking cup. Only weirdos like you give think. Give them a glass. Oh, cup of alcohol. They must be bad. A red, I'm the only person who thinks there's alcohol in a red cup? Bro. No, no, it's not about that. It's that it's water, dude. I mean, hell, I even have a red cup when I'm sitting here at the table sometimes. It's water. But hold on. A lot of the times, and here's another thing too, because people and, and have, when you're what about on Cinco de Drunk Day? They weren't drinking, bro. <laughs> of that, course that, not. That particular was not drinking. <laughs> Maybe the other girls were, but that girl wasn't. Yeah. She was sober the whole show. If, you, if she if she was really drinking alcohol, watch that episode. Oh no, wait, you don't watch the episodes. Why was she sober <laughs> as fuck, man? Yo, bro. Like Ethan, like Try harder. the proof is in Try the harder. thing. Watch the episode, and you can see she's not slurring her okay. words. She's not fucking stuttering. She's sober right. as a yeah. so sober as a gopher. Yes. Once again, another L on your part. Like, yeah, no, I'm taking fat L's it's here. It's a wrap. She's sober, dude. Watch I'm the taking fat L's. Yeah, She's dude, I just ha I like to hang out with my younger fans, 
and I give them red cups that are traditionally used for drinking alcohol out of them. That's not true. I don't know why Ethan's saying that. It became normalized after the music and stuff, right? But our family picnics get red solo cups, guys. They're just cups. For the record, the Red Solo Cup phenomenon, from my understanding, happened after the music industry made a song, Red Solo Cup. You know what I mean? And then I make it look like I'm drinking with minors just so they don't feel left out. That's what you said, which is insane. It's not insane. Chris That's Hansen would like so to ask Ethan, you some wait, questions. Are you telling me that? How you does Ethan look stupid next to Fresh and Fit? How is that possible? How did he? I'm going to cry. <laughs> You never drank alcohol when you were underage, well, Ethan? Not, not, not with fuck. Yeah, yeah, bro, so, oh, wait, hold on. Did you just confess? When you were young? Was that a confession? I think you just confessed. Well, it's confessed. not my responsibility. <laughs> it's not the minor's responsibility. I mean, you're 30 fucking four. Drinking with 18 year olds is just pathetic. We and don't drink, weird. Bro. Uh, yeah, and you I'm guys sorry. don't drink. Makes it even weirder. It makes it even weirder. Why don't you take a seat it right It makes it so hey. weird. Ethan, let, let me explain to you. The, eight, the, young, the underage girls drink water, and then the girls are of age, okay. they want to drink when they show up. Got it. Got it. They drink so, water out of a red cup, and we do, we no, do it so they feel that. included. Yeah. We want yeah, them to feel water. special. And then the girls that are older, You guys are so drink, considerate of the girls' come, feelings when it comes to drinking and posting, and but like, in the studio, we don't care about them. We'll give them one or two at the most because we don't want them getting fucked up in their age. What's the problem with that? I've seen lots of drunk girls in your studio, man. Girls passed out. They come up, come here. What do you see, bro? Well, you say you no. gave him two. Sh okay, whatever. Let's continue. No, 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 Ethan. Let's go on this road. Who do you see that's drunk on the show? I, I've seen. I, I've oh, seen there's been drunk girls, girls on the show. They're drunk on the show, or they're drunk on the couch in the back, etc. And they got drunk before they came here. Okay. We'll give them more than two to three at the absolute. So most. here they are cheering. Um, here's a 20 year old girl. I mean, the other ones were 18, 20. Hello. I think they did have to stop letting girls get drunk because it made the show look really bad. Remember that Fresh and Fit want quality over quantity, even though their quality is a certain kind of quality lower than my standard. Their studio standard is high. So they did stop wanting girls to get too drunk on the show because even though it's funny for views, it does bring down the quality level of the show. She's 20. That's what the thing is. I do watch enough Fresh and Fit because I try to actually study the people I talk about. Kind of. It depends. Sometimes I do a live show where I haven't researched anything like yesterday. Or sometimes I research. It just depends. It feels like Ethan depends so heavily on other people researching but doesn't actually try to categorize people. See, my neurodivergency is in my in – my, it helps me like really try to – when I judge someone, judge them on their category. Fresh and Fit run a tight ship. That's kind of what they're known for. Even though I think they're pieces of shit. Man, Ethan's making them look pretty good. Not great, by the way. They're still pieces of shit, but you know. I'm 20. Okay. Uh, it's I'm under 21, dancer. by the okay. way. Okay. Take a seat right over there. All right, cheers. Here are two the two under 21 girls with lots of my red liquor bottles here, drinking out of a red cup, which is filled with water, so, so we don't we, we don't want them to feel left out. I can't be next to this guy. We don't want them to. We're so considerate of their feelings before the show. Once the show comes on, we may be lying. 30 minutes, actually. Years old. We'll start. Um, See, Ethan, are you like, uh, like, here's the thing, Ethan. When girls come into the studio, right? A it's a big podcast. podcast. They're nervous. They're not sure. Yo, so, like, we obviously have to create a certain aura so that they can feel comfortable. Now, some girls want to drink the girls that are underage. We don't give it to them. But we have our producer here. He's talking with them. We have girls that work for us. They talk with them. They chat with them for a bit, put some music on. You got to create a little aura for the girls to feel comfortable. Then we so, do the podcast. Right. The red cup with water is the, is the crown jewel of comforting. Uh, it's well, crazy. You know, really you sound silly as well. That come on our podcast are 21 and above. Sometimes it's cranberry juice, sometimes is orange juice. Okay, but bro? The reality is the you you asked me if I'd ever drunk, drank underage. Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Ethan, uh, I didn't do it, in, but, but like if adults were offering me alcohol, do you think that that's like, like you know what I mean? That's weird. No, because you're trying, you're trying to virtue signal right now as if like underage huh? drinking is thing ever, but you participate in yourself. <laughs> as, a, as an underage, as a minor, as a minor, as a minor I participated. As an adult, it's a different story. If you're, oh, okay. But as a minor, I participated with other minors. Someone that wasn't 21. Okay, man. You haven't did when I turned 18, my dad gave me a beer and a cigar and said, now you are a woman. True story. I give a beer to someone that was under 21. Okay, man. Sure, we believe that. Just like you believe us with the, with the water, right? Okay. Yeah. Sure. And, and all cases of drinking are the same, not like um, going to a date. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think you guys wrapped it up here pretty good. So, how do you guys, so let me ask you this. How do you guys feel about this interview? It was great because you literally brought up all the points that people like to criticize us on, and we were oh. able to debunk them with 40, 50,000 people watching live. We got what, 40K on our, almost 40 on our end watching. Yep. I don't know how many you have on your end watching, but yeah, I mean, you made a bunch of claims and accusations, and they're just simply yep. yep. almost like. I don't know why Ethan loves Fresh and Fit, apparently. He just platformed them for fucking three hours. Sense of? Andrew Schultz podcast. <sighs> tried to get out, gotcha. And yeah, it didn't. It failed. Tried. Try to call us anthropomorphic, not true. Try to get, oh. ask us Andrew Tate and say that he's a trafficker, can't substantiate your claims.
Try, you know, I, try to, I showed you a video of him confessing to it. To debate here, to debate certain topics that we talk about all the time. Try to say that we're single, or no, say that we hit our, hide our girlfriend. you're I'm monogamous losers! <laughs> losers. Well, okay. Let me just ask you one last time. How many Jews died in the Holocaust, you two? You told us told already, bro. You told us. Oh, we don't know. We don't know. How many? So to, to rephrase, so, so to recap the interview. Uh, we give minors red cups full of water so they don't feel left out for our Insta stories. Andrew, we, Andrew. We, we, we love the documentary Europa, which is about uh, neo-Nazi conspiracies about based. Jews controlling the we world. Said what, basically, based. And you said it's based. We nowhere did we say we love it. Okay, based. Right. Thank you for that very important difference. That it, is a big difference. Because yeah. if we're saying it's based, that means it doesn't align with mainstream media narratives at all. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm sure that's, we all know what based means. So you say Europa, which is a which is probably one of the most anti-Semitic films ever created, is based. Um, then let's see what hey, else we touch on. You touched it? on that. Um, you we touched on that. Let's see. Uh, once girls post pic, uh, scan uh, revealing pictures online, it's over unless they're our girlfriend. Then we can then we can move on. Um, when you're in a committed relationship with the girl, she's you posting pictures like that, bro. It's a wrap, man. For it's you. a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah, you play sound bites. I think you don't understand. You play sound bites. If you saying you love Hitler earlier, yeah, we can. Oh no, yeah, you guys got you me good. Hitler, yeah. You got to. Except you guys Hitler actually love Hitler. Hitler. It sounds you like. Called, no, you called this the N word, bro, Ethan. I remember that. You remember okay. that? All right. I remember that. So what? What your fault? Are you like a? Are you like a it's false it's accuser? Are you doing like false accusation cosplay? Oh no, I'm you making false accusations all day. Assuming mine are based on evidence that I show you. No, I'm assuming you said that word. You meant us. I'm assuming. Huh? Okay. And then again, it's funny because you played that clip, but you haven't played it again. I said when you're in a committed relationship with a girl and she has pictures of herself. Oh, you want to play it again? Can we do have the? So that's very important. No, I'll play it again. Oh my god, that's a problem. And then once she gets into a relationship with you, and she can I just read this too? Because I think it's funny. It's it's not really an expose. There's there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I just think it's funny. This is your um, bro. Are they trying uh, to get the other one to like leave the stream? Sugar daddy one. Oh, now you're showing it. Fantastic. Yeah. uh, So see the screen though. Say what? I can't see the screen. Okay, now I can see it. Uh, Social media influencers, content creators. I run popular podcasts. Maybe I bet Vodka Soda can't guess my ethnic background. Two tries. I own a high ticket coaching business that nobody's booking anyway that's just my opinion who knows and i'm realizing that notorious big song mo money mo uh-huh. problems is disappointingly true nice i'm try, hoping you don't hard. add to that disappointment are you having money or mo pro mo money mo problems yep damn i have so, more money than you and I'm, happy, and I'm and i'm good i'd be happy to go over this bio with you because just so you know this bio has been copied by thousands of people. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Just you. And I can explain to you why I <coughs> use this term for phrases. So- Wait, can I just read it out loud to you guys really fast? Um, he said, not to sound cocky, but here are some numbers. Only 5% of the male population is over 6'2". Less than 3% of males make over 300K. And only 5% of men are in shape with abs. You lucked out. I have all three in one package. <laughs> I'm telling you, they want the validation of women, and it's fine, but ew. Uh, guys, you know me. I don't think you should seek validation from nobody but your consciousness, right? And your God, if you have one. Oh. Because just so you know, this Fuck. bio has been copied by thousands of people. Yeah. Okay? That's just so you know. Oh. Funny. And I can explain to you why I use the term for phrases. Not cocky, but here's some of my numbers. Only 4% of male population is over 6'2". Oh. Less than yep. 3% of males make over 300,000. Only 5% of men are in shape with abs. And only oh. point, and, and only most other men have a personality that actually makes them desirable to women. I have to invest in these other three so that we don't have to think about that. You lucked out. I have all three in one package, so yeah. Yes, girl. Zesty snap. I'm picky for a reason. Beauty yep. women is common, but high-value men are not. Be yep. prepared to compete. Yep. On so, God. It's a wrap. So, Ethan, um... Here's awesome. the thing, when you write profiles, you'd be surprised. When a woman finds you attractive, she actually does read your profile. They spend a lot of time reading I know, that's the problem. Crazy things. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just cringy. Because No, you can say it's cringy, but yeah. there's a reason why thousands of men have copied oh. it, and I get messages from girls all the time saying, yo, this is literally your profile, okay? They'll use my pictures, and they'll use that same exact verbiage. Now, here's the thing. I'm using a bunch of things here. I'm using funny. I'm using uh, crazy arrogance. Now, here's the thing. Women will sit there and say, I don't like assholes. I don't like cocky guys. But guess what? What they're aroused by versus what they're attracted to. Some women like it. Some women do like it, and we need to accept that. As women, we need to accept. There are women in categories who do like Myrins. We have to accept it as women. We're not a monolith. Some women like it, and they're allowed to like Myron. That way, we don't have to date him. See how that works? Let these women date him. He's right. It works. For the women who like him, it works. Let it happen. Let it go, girls. We are not monoliths. Some women are allowed to like Myron. Okay? We don't, but they're allowed to, and we need to accept that. Two are two different things. Unmarried. Assholes like me. And the other thing too is you need to let women know that you're better than them. Okay. And I know that sounds like a foreign concept to you. Unmarried. Up, okay. <clears throat> so women date up, right? Women want a man that's better than them. You need to exemplify that. Now, on a site like, and here's the thing, you got to use a different game on different sites. I would never have a profile like that on Tinder or on Bumble. But on Seeking, you need to have a profile like that because you're dealing with some of the bougiest of bougie women. So you need to fight fire with fire. Bougie women. You think bougie women read that and respond? That's funny.
You'd be surprised. They actually, I'm fucking top, top three percent. Be prepared to compete, Buster. I've seen it firsthand. He didn't lie to you. Hundreds of messes. I showed my secret profile before with people talk shit, and yet you're still unmarried. Not your fault. You don't know how to. You don't know how to enter a respectful. Uh, you don't know how to enter a relationship that is meaningful and strong enough that it would be turned into a, a fruitful marriage. You do not, you lack that potential. And I think that's sad. And I How hope you that you guys that? pursue with your girlfriends um, who are lovely ladies. Uh, yes. That you hey, ask me something. Hold, again. hold on, hold on. You're saying that we don't know how, wouldn't it be fair to say that if I'm, if I've hooked up with a <laughs> girls and I've dealt with a bunch of women, I'm probably, probably going to be a good assessor of a good versus a bad woman due, due to my experience. Wouldn't that be fair to say? Well, if, it, if it's true, you should have found your wife by now. Ethan. Well, Ethan. Oh my God, bro. Oh God. Oh. You just get it, man. You just don't get yeah. it. This married guy doesn't understand dating at all. No, you don't. Because no, bro. He doesn't you don't understand the game. Trick question, by the way. When we asked you earlier, yeah. you didn't give any real way for men to meet women in the modern That's day. That's not my business. I don't give a fuck. I haven't, okay. I haven't written a guide. Well, then you are not equipped to have this conversation with us and to try to debate. Our well, it's not that deep. Yeah, unfortunately for you, it's no, not, it's not, not that, that deep. deep. It's not a PhD. Not I understand all the concepts you bring up. Yeah, now, now it's not Look, gonna... ultimately, even if Myron gets married, it's not going to be the kind of marriage that I probably would recommend you have. But who cares what I think, right? If you think Myron is right, do Myron's method. If you think Ethan is right, do his. If you like my method, do mine. What category of person are you, right? And that's what it. That's what it's all about. It's like, why are you dating? Why do you think marriage exists? Why are you doing it? That deep. When I'm explaining it to you, the nuances and how that's important when it comes to attracting women. And the only five percent of men are in shape with abs. Again, the platform that you're on dictates how you deal with the women. When you're on a site like that, when you're dealing with women, I agree, with Myron. Way, they're different bubbles, with different requirements, etc. You have to be hyper competitive and also let girls know that yo, beauty is common for me. You're just a regular chick. It is what it is. You have to almost knock these girls off their bitch pedestal. But you wouldn't know that because you haven't dated in 2024. And you're because not I'm married and know how to have a healthy relationship. Okay, so you are not equipped to give men dating advice in today's day. As, as a healthily married uh, man with a family, I don't have it. I'm not in a if, position. If you became single tomorrow, yeah, you would have no fucking clue on how to navigate the modern day dating market. <laughs> nah, Ethan would be fine, bro. He wouldn't. He wouldn't date in the modern world because like you don't have to. That's a choice. Dating in the modern bubble, guys, doesn't mean dating now today. It's a bubble. The modern bubble is a specific bubble, and you're choosing to date into it. If you mean dating now in today's standards, it's still a bubble. You know every community dates different, and it's all – you know what I mean? Tomorrow, what <laughs> The you marketplace. You guys are so oh, funny. What's up? What's up? Ethan, if you got divorced, what would you do? Go knock on your mom's door? <laughs> no, good one. It, is, it was good. It was good. It wasn't that bad. We're just being silly now. We're just being silly. We're just being silly. I got you, coconuts. You look upset. You look emotional. Is that emotion? I'll just with the mama joke. Since you want to go ahead and criticize my essay profile and how I deal with women, etc., right? Your sexual assault profile. Why would you want to? Why would you want to advertise that? You denied it. My sexual assault profile. Okay. What's an essay profile? Jesus, man. Seeking arrangement is what it stands for. Oh, seeking arrangement. I got the two mixed up. They should change that. Thinking about the other one. Yeah, yeah, assuming, yeah. yeah, assuming like you've done before and you got debunked. Uh, did the whole show, by the way. Um, so yeah, either, that's girl, a good question. Uh, the girl. Would you, what would you do if you got divorced tomorrow? This girl, say, can you see this man? You. You if do? I found a, if I got divorced tomorrow, I would, I would go out into the marketplace and I would fucking, I would talk about how rich I am and how successful. And I would fuck so many. He would many cry, bitches, bro. Dude. He'd be busy crying in a therapist right, office. Is that easy? How would you go about, about? specifically? <laughs> My, I, 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 listen, this girl on the left is 18. She's drinking out of a red cup. The girl next to her is drinking out of a water bottle. Oh, if she's drinking question. water, hold on. This is a good. Question. If she's drinking water out of a bottle, why is the 18 year old girl not drinking water? Why is she what? drinking out of a red cup? She brought her own bottle. Ta da. She brought her own bottle, man. Congrats, Steve. Why you share the bottle, dude? Okay. Yeah. All right. There's water in those cups. That's what, what everyone believes. Yeah, no, bro. Like, bro, they don't you know each other. You're crying so You're hard. You're crying so hard, man. And I say, bro. Hey, 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 uh, coconuts. Is hey, this bro. what it's like when you go to, to to like McDonald's? What would you want to order today, Yuso? You tell me. <laughs> yeah. It's a the cost. You... The coconut meme is from Coconuts and Barbados because there's a fresh clip of him saying that. So that's what it's from. Tell me. <laughs> they had all this time, and that's the best meme they could come with. Oh, he's flirting with Ethan, bro. He's like winking at Ethan in the camera. I thought they would have come up with like me holding dynamite or something like wow. that. Damn, bro, that was, that was you were holding dynamite. That's not funny at all. Our meme guys out today, actually. Yeah, that was from the subreddit. Thank you to them. Yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty funny. Anyway, so I, I, how, would I, about, I, like, how would you go about if you were single, bro? Like, I, I'm asking. Yeah. Like, what this is our question. Like, I don't care. Tomorrow, I don't care. What would you do? I don't care. Now you don't care. 
I never did. Interesting how whenever we ask you a question or yeah, we're having a, you know, we're about to get into a real well, weird. Hi- Never, it's like a weird know. hypothetical thing. He would thing. cry. I don't know. He'd be in a therapist's office. It'd be I have very a lot to hard. Think about. Like when you asked me earlier, it'd be so oh, sad. Andrew was actually a rapist. Like, you, what do you like? Well, I'm asking you? your opinion on like a concrete, specific video I showed you. Oh, it's you're a at, you're, you created like a fantasy world where really I'm. You guys fantasize about my divorce a lot more than y'all think about your own fucking girlfriends. Bro, things happen, bro. If you get divorced, it's okay. Okay, I get divorced. What do I do? I um. Yeah, okay, what do I do? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Well, if I talk to a lawyer, I get a mediator probably so that we can part ways it would be amicably. So sad. We talk okay. about it a lot. We go through a lot. You know, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to split up. We talk. We probably maybe even couple. We'll get some couples therapy. You know, to make sure everything's good because we want to do. We want to do healthy co-parenting because we love our boys more True. than anything in the world. And then I'll probably get lunch. Um, I'll to go to McDonald's that? and I'll tell them. You tell me what to get. And would you would you try to negotiate <laughs> desire? Like, or is that the, the, the therapy? Would that is that what it would be? For? Sorry, say again. Would you try to like negotiate a desire? Is that why you do the therapy? A desire. Negotiate what? Desire. 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 Negotiate desire. What's yeah, that mean? That's typically what therapy is designed to do. Oh, you guys are doing one of your weird like red pilled terminologies. I, I mean, you it's, negotiate. It's, how do you it's, negotiate it's desire? Language. I mean, if you're if you're meeting, do you not believe in therapy? At a predetermined location to meet with a therapist to discuss your relationship, and you go over problems and like, hey, well, I don't like when you do this, and I don't like when you do this. Okay, well, if you well, do we're this, already divorced, so it's more about that's just. What therapy ends up being a lot of the times is you take out the trash and you give him sex. Blah blah. We're it's already divorced. Desire. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. Or like, you're trying to go to therapy. What's the point of going to therapy if you guys? Because are we have three boys that we love, and we want to. We What's wanna... the point of going to therapy if you're divorced? Damn. Co-parent them healthily. Okay, you can you can do that through the court system. No, I want to go to a therapist. Oh, you want to go to? Why don't you want to go through the court system? I would. I prefer to talk to a professional with a degree. A judge, a professional. <laughs> with a degree. Yeah, well, actually, with a big degree, they're a JD, they're so, a lawyer, they so, have a better degree than a therapist. So your claim, you said classes. What did? Interesting. Yeah, that's you, an interesting perspective on therapy. I wonder if that's a bubble he's used to. Is there a therapy bubble where, like, I guess there is, but, like, that's not what th- – therapy is for your your mental health. Like, Ethan would need to go to therapy, and they would need to go to therapy for a lot of other reasons. Oh, wow, interesting. I know you guys are getting tired in chat. I'm also getting tired. I hope this ends soon. We want you rather go to therapy, and I'm like, why go to no, therapy right. if you guys are divorced? You could, let's just let the core system handle it. What? Yeah, it's all just right. – uh, all right. Listen, cocoa but, uh, Coconuts, uh, 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 my boy. Let McLean. me talk. I love you. Ethan, did you really want to debate, man? Because this doesn't seem it's like a three and a half hours. You guys, you guys oh, are just milking it because you have high viewership and you don't usually don't get this many views. Uh, for me, it's not that big of a deal. Every night, we actually do get. We actually get more. <laughs> How many live views you get? Well, you're we forgetting. literally you you remember that Rumble? But... Yeah, we split the audience right now between uh, Rumble and YouTube. We got thirty four thousand watching. And How much us- on YouTube? How much on YouTube? How much on Rumble? A seventeen thousand on YouTube and another seventeen K on Rumble. How much you get, buddy? Forty five forty five thousand. That's great, bro. Thank you. Well, <laughs> it's a wrap. You know it's funny. If Thank we you. Uh, I appreciate you that. Walter, <laughs> me and you though, there's a connection. I think I think there's something special. You got a beautiful. You got a face that I love. Guys, Ethan is fine. They were doing a hypothetical, and no, he's not on Ozepic. But like, he's he's not divorced. Him and Ela are very happy. And I think you're a sweet guy, uh, but you guys have gotten pretty boring, and I just don't care anymore. Yeah, you're boring. Discussions now, it's like you're oh, boring. boring. All right, have I, a good my, show, guys. Why aren't working anymore? I don't know anyone watching this podcast, bro. It's just so boring. I agree. That's why I'm hanging up on you, morons. Okay, buddy. More ad hominem attacks. Yes. Get in debate. Yes. It's it's right. No debate. Just ad hominems. Why piglet? Did you call me Piglet? No, no, wait, you call me Piglet. Wait, hold on. Can he call Walter, him Piglet? Piglet? That feels racist. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Ethan, I'd be happy to have an actual debate in person. Wait, hold on, hold on. Walter, you call me Piglet? No, 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 no coconuts. That was me. Was oh, okay. So, coconuts, uh, you called me. You called me. Uh, well, hold on. Didn't you congratulate me on my weight loss? Why would you go after my weight? That, okay, ma- that hurts loud. my feelings. You're still bigger, buddy. You're still bigger, but hey, you know what? Hold on. Work? Hold on. Hold on. Get there. Let me see your abs, coconuts. Let me see those washboard yeah, abs. Yeah, let me see, coconuts. You're a sick there, bucko. Okay. Ethan, you've been you've munching a little too many coconuts. Those have a lot of calories. I know you know how to do that. Okay, look, Ethan, I'll just We should mukbang together for real. I don't care about Myron anymore. <laughs> Myron, you're not My, Hey, Myron, could you quiet down? We're trying to talk to Walter. Myron, let them oh, in talk, please. Look, so you guys don't want to have to be in person. I don't want to, I want to talk to Walter, who I find more, much more interesting. Walter, we should do a mukbang. I think it would be fun. Two guys just eating and shooting the shit. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good, bro. What? 
Come on. No, you guys look upset. You know, okay. you know what you should do, bro? You should focus on staying married. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I am. I, ha I am. Thank you for the advice. That should be Yo, me. Like, you know, you know, yeah, no, I, I take my marriage I, very seriously. I, I, Thank you for that. Like I'm, I'm going to be honest here, Ethan. I genuinely thought we would have a good discussion. Uh, a I debate. don't know why you thought that, dummy. All right, I don't yeah. care. We got to go. You, Bye, you dummy. What? Right, for real. No, Thank but, you, guys. But for real. No, wait, I don't want to end on that. You know, so I'm being facetious. I'm being silly. I don't want to. I I thank you guys for coming. Uh, we talked. I have a discussion in person. That's what we you know. uh, did. Something. Uh, I think we'll two. see I mean, what it you is. Know, yeah, you part don't two. Debate. You want to have ad hominems? You didn't debate any points. You just attacked us personally the whole time, which I knew would happen. Uh, but you just showed right. it. Uh, hold on, hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. I, hold on. They need. Uh, oh, no, you guys. You guys. Hold on. My 18 year old friends are here. Oh no no no! You can use the alcohol cup. Just put water in it for social media. Because you guys used to be based. Now you guys. Hold on, I'm talking to my 18 year old uh, friends. Yeah, put the alcohol. Don't, you don't need to drink alcohol. Just put water in it for social media. So people on social media think you're, I'm drinking with minors, which is cool. Decline, dude. And this is why, like, joke, income decline. It is true. You have to lose subscribers for a reason, my friend. You've sold out. Everyone knows you sold out. Yeah. You're not capable of having a rational debate like I tried to have with you. My mistake was holding you to a higher standard, to be honest here. That's really my mistake. But that's fine. You just embarrass yourself in front of, what, 50, 70,000 people live? That you're not able to have a coherent, articulate discussion with another adult? Hell, you didn't even want to do it in person, which tells me the type of man that you are? Yeah. It is what it is. How many people died in the Holocaust, Myron? Yeah. You can tell me, man. Six All right. million. You're a neo-Nazi. See ya. You're such a good... You're Bye. Bye. No, no, no. Don't, no, no, no. Not yet. Should I want to do this, right? Dan. This is anti semi. You failed. failed. You try to say we're racist. That you failed. You try to say, bro. You try to do say it. that we're sexual assaulters. You failed. No, don't, no, no, not that. Look at the chat. What do you mean? <laughs> I can't see it. What chat? Oh, man. No, do the whole thing. That whole thing. This was uh, what you're showing. Is he showing something on screen? We can't see anything. We can't see anything if you're showing it on screen, dude. Yes. We just hear some music. It's going softly. Go on, guys. Tell me more about me. This is your last chance. Nah, man. I think this is L for you, bro. Yeah, hopefully the L. You just proved Bad once. Else. You did this with. See, you did this with Steven Crowder too. You couldn't debate him either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you couldn't true. debate him. Yep. As you, everybody uh, knows, I got owned by Steven Crowder. Yeah, you're hypocrite. You say, oh, you, you brought Charleston White on, but you brought a known scammer on that scanned millions of millions of dollars. Are you trying to say anything? I said my, you made anti-Semitic jokes about Ben Shapiro, then you made this thing before I came. Excuse me. Well, by that logic, I'm Arab. I'm a semi too. I can't be anti-Semitic either. You're, See, that's the that's dumbest thing. Bro, what, that has nothing to do with Jewish people. If you're, if you're like, Semitic, it just means, it means Jewish people. It's colloquial. No, it means, no, 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 no. It means anyone from that part of the world, which Arabs count too. Oh, God. Yeah, but there's different, but anti, okay, but you can hate guy, Jews and not hate Arabs, right? You're not a smart guy, Ethan. That's I'm, the, okay. I thought you were you're smarter, just not bro. an intelligent guy. You you're smarter, right. Bro. All Semites are the same. And if you hate Jews, then you also hate Arabs by definition. Super wise. No, no, uh, by your logic, know. you're saying that I'm anti-Semitic. I'm then trying to do a goof, but I don't know if it's working. You're like, no, it doesn't count, because I'm Jewish, too. Oh, you and did? I'm like, I can't by, see it. By that logic, then I'm not, I can't be anti-Semitic either, because I'm Arab. I can't see it. Habib. Hold on, I'm trying to do a goof and here, guys. You guys blocked our screen sharing, because you guys were scared. Of oh, oh, Which we knew just, you guys would oh, do that, too. I can't too. see it. How many no. kinetic stands are on the screen? We're trying to drown you guys out with kinetic sand. Hold on. Because you can't debate. All your, Ethan, you're just making yourself look bad here. This dude. is a Middle Eastern you goodbye, guys. An intellectual debate. This is a Middle you took Eastern goodbye. On every single talking point. You bye, tried bye, bye. and you failed. There's a reason why they call you guys. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> and I didn't make one ad hominem attack on you. Oh, All I man. simply did was point to facts and the truth. I didn't insult you one time. Thank you very much, Myron, for your respect. I appreciate that. Yeah, I tried, man. I tried. Uh. Hey, again, happy to have a debate with you in person anytime you want, my friend. All right, dude, I'm gonna f I'm gonna fuck you up if I see you in person, buddy. I'm gonna fight you. I mean, if you want to put some boxing gloves on, we can have a nice match, a spar. That'll be great. Actually. You want to do that? I'm Ethan? I'm gonna intimidate you physically when I see you. I mean, I never so took it there. I never said anything about fighting. All right. If you want to put Thank on some gloves, you. We can box Let's if you want. So good. Do you want to box? No. You want to box? You want to stand on it? No. no. Okay. All right. I assume that. I think it's the same exact reason why you didn't want to have this conversation in person. Just drop it. Just drop it then. 
So I was trying to drown him out with the thing, but Ian's not here, and... I don't know where any of his Kinetic Sand stuff is. It's just, it wasn't going to work. And also, mm. it, I did put it on screen, but it's their Zoom feed is covering your screen, so you can't see it. So I was trying to tell you it's oh. happening. So, so we had some Kinetic Sand. There was some Kinetic okay. Sand, yes. Bro. Yeah, I wanted to just Woo. put... It, obviously, that the debate had been ah. over for a long time, it's so... I, I don't know why they wanted to stay on the call so much. I think it's just because they're. I think it's just a we can't be seen. As we can't leave away. first. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't bring any questions, and I mean, they they certainly beat the am anti-Semitism charges, don't you think? Yeah, I mean that's the biggest takeaway, and why it stopped every, being funny. You know, every um every person who uh doesn't hate Jewish people uh just you know. They all, they always go. I don't know how many died. You tell me. Six. I almost, in the beginning they were a lot looser, and then they're like, oh, we gotta tighten this up. Well, I think they remembered that they're simultaneously streaming on YouTube, and that that would probably oh, get them banned. Maybe. Honestly, what they said might even be enough. Frankly, probably not enough. But I'm countering it. This is me. Well, I put up the anyway, dumbass that, that alert was, uh, at that point. So anyway, I didn't. What What did you guys think? I think it went that was well wild. Show, to be honest, I mean, I did want it to end like thirty minutes. I know. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Long. It's really yeah. bad that last half hour. They go, why are you, why are you trying to dodge everything? I don't know. What do you think? <sighs> That's what someone said. The last twenty five minutes was torture. It really was. Yeah, it was pretty bad. That it's was so rough. Twenty five thousand people yeah. watching. Sorry about that. It should have ended thirty minutes ago. But my my <laughs> thing with them is like, they clearly love their girlfriends. And mm -hmm. I think it's so sweet and so special. And they've they've really backed themselves into a corner of having to justify every little aspect of the relationship. Because in truth, in real Are life, we over it? everyone's different. Everyone has ba different backgrounds, different, different values, different environment. And just because your girl goes with her friends in a bikini to the beach. Are we over this? Um, doesn't mean you have to dump her, dude. It doesn't even need you to be mad. What a weird decision. I'm over it. What a weird decision. Like, what a weird decision Ethan made to have fresh... Why did he platform them? Why did he talk to them? Why did he give them... Literally, what's 45,000 plus 36,000? That's a lot of views. That's a lot of people watching Fresh and Fit today. Damn. That was crazy. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Thank you for liking the stream. Thank you for being here. I am emotionally exhausted. Bryson, you said you needed aftercare. I need aftercare. That felt like a scene. I need food. I need love in my life. <laughs> Man, I don't know why he platformed them. What an interesting decision. You know? It's just so strange. You know? But I think, what a beautiful example of bubbles. Like, again, the, like you can live your life in so many different ways. And this is how Ethan has decided to live his life. This is how Fresh and Fit decide to live their life. I'm not calling them bad people. I mean, I think Myron's a bad person but in my value system. And I think Fresh is probably a bad person. I don't know much about him. You know, who knows anything about coconuts? Um, but like I personally, I, Brittany, my values, like I do not love Myron. And I have a lot of like, I he makes me feel very uncomfortable. I don't think he himself, I think he's a very cautious person, but I think the people he platforms and the ideas he's allowed to, the the people he lets get away with things, I think for me, signals to me that he would be unsafe. But I'm not accusing Myron himself. I think he's, like I said, it's weird. He plays within the rules, but he'll defend Andrew Tate, right? Or he'll make friends with like, again, like I'm paying attention to who he says he likes. I'm paying attention to who platforms him. I'm paying, you know what I mean? Like you do you. I'm not saying guilty by association, but I'm a little, I mean, guilty by promotion, you know, speaking highly of certain people. Um, we all have our limits. You and I, we all have our different limits. For me, Myron's one of my limits. Um, yeah, I just wouldn't think about platforming him if I was a, like in this way. It'd be different if it was like your first debate and you wanted to debate him. But Ethan, like reached out to Fresh and Fit after they've already debated before, right? They've already had problems, right? So it's kind of weird to like reach out to them and to be like, hey, we're desperate for content. Do you want me to, like, why would they reach out to Fresh and Fit? You know?
Ren says, do you think it's maybe because for H3 has more of a feminine audience, so they think it's not really platforming because his audience isn't going to watch Fresh and Fit? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. You know, that's a very good point. And again, I'm not trying to moralize it too much because it's, you know, his business. I, I, I get it. Um, but something about it, like something feels so strange. Like, why would Ethan do that? You know? But, you know, it is what it is, right? Like, no hate to Ethan. Um, I don't like fresh and fit. I don't think they're doing good things for people outside of their bubble. But even within their bubble, I think it's a bad bubble. Like, if I'm going to be honest with you, bubbles that I think are bad bubbles are bubbles that push narratives that people are less than you because of their gender or less than you because of their skin color or less than you because of something like that, right? So I personally don't like fresh and fit. They teach the narrative that women are less than you or women should be treated less than men. I don't like that narrative. I don't like the way they, they talk about minorities. Like, look, we can all make edgy jokes. I don't like the way they communicate their jokes. Um, You know what I mean? They are in their 30s, so I'm holding them to a different standard. So for me personally, not my favorite. I don't like it. I've read Myron's book. I've tried to like watch their content. I just, you know, but that's what bubbles do. They get, they meet people like them who like confirm their biases. To be fair, the evidence is there. And then they ride a wave of it. And it's true. Like Myron is having true lived experiences with the kinds of women he's talking about. And those women and those men find each other. And then they reaffirm in each other biases and prejudice. And then they think that's how the whole world is. And that's why Myron literally says, like, this is true. This is of all women, all women. This is how all women are. If you think, like, that many people on the planet are one way, like, you do you, right? So, again, thank you for watching this with me. What a ride. Because I would have had a very hard time sitting through that alone. That would have been a huge struggle, you know? Raider says, did you find out why you deserve less, Brittany? Referring to Myron's book, Why Women Deserve Less. Yeah, because I'm a woman. <laughs> you know, very, very good, Myron. Very good. You know, it's so interesting. Oh, it's so weird. You know, Cognitive says as a Muslim, Myron holds a standard of Muslim, uh, a standard Muslim view of women, doesn't he? Izzy says, I wouldn't say it's a standard view of women women among muslims yeah i would say like look maybe i just follow like progressive muslims but the ones i follow generally speaking do not speak about women like anything myron does so I, i'm sure there is a misogynistic muslim bubble which myron maybe comes from but the muslims that i follow the people that i follow same with the catholics like i'm sure there are catholic bubbles that are very misogynistic but the bubble that i was in the middle eastern one i grew up in very different. So maybe it's maybe it's just Middle Eastern. I, I don't know. But like the bubble I grew up in of Catholics, women are. I mean, Mother Mary is like the woman of all women. You know what I mean? Like women are heroines. My dad's favorite saint is a woman like my dad loved his mother. My dad like I just I don't come from that bubble. And I think the same for a lot of the Muslims that I follow. They don't come from. I mean, the Muslims, it's Ramadan right now. And like. I follow the Muslims like when their women are on periods, they get to eat and like they don't have to fast and women are praised and like men are taught to respect their mothers. So I, I don't know. Right. Like, of course, some bubbles are going to be misogynistic while others aren't as misogynistic or at all. And it just depends on which one you grew up in. You know what I mean? It just depends on which Muslim bubble you're growing up in. Some of them are more misogynistic than others. Same with Christians. So I'm really lucky. I grew up in the less misogynistic bubble of the Catholics, for sure. Like, I definitely feel lucky in that regard. You know what I mean? The women worked in my family. They were allowed to get jobs. My dad is, like, impressed by my business savvy every day, which I appreciate. I was raised to run a business. You know, I was raised to be a stay-at-home mom, too. But, you know, I chose the chose the money-making decision, you know. So everyone has a different relationship. I think Myron is just he's also having a relationship with his own existence. Maybe it has nothing to do with how he was raised. Maybe it has nothing to do with his religion. Maybe it has more to do with just his own personal relationships with women himself, his ideas. You know, I personally, personally wouldn't live in Miami. I think parts of Miami, the parts that he's a part of is a bubble that I would just feel really gross about myself in and about the people there, because I'm sure some of them are nice, but the clubbing bubble, the party bubble, the, the shallow materialistic bubble. I mean, no offense, like, how wholesome could that be? You know what I mean? Like, how wholesome could that be? Probably not very. Stop and
Da, da, da. 